I'm just going to do so. Okay. Are we streaming? Are we good? Are we live? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's go. We already have a few people here. So we're live. We're going to do some play testing of the game length of Ravage Star. I don't see anything. There's nothing. This is for people watching after the fact, just so you get a, a bearing oh, there of we are. what's happening. Playtesting game length, because we are full beta right now, and so there's many things that have been ironed out. One of which uh, has not is the game length of the game itself, so we're just going to play without a whole lot of finessing or finagling of the camera angles or whatever. There's no one behind the terminal. It's just Matt and I today. Matt's behind the camera right now, just making sure everything's good before we start. Throw some dice in the dice tray. Can you see Hold it? On. I gotta wait. It's delayed. Oh, is it delayed by the because little? because the, there's a mini wargaming logo in the bottom right. Oh, that YouTube's adding. That YouTube adds, yeah. Yeah. Well, do we wanna? Well, isn't that a, an issue by default anyway, at all times? No, it doesn't add it to that degree. Yeah. Oh well. We're good. We're so good. So we're, we're streaming good. and we're recording. Yes. So the recording is just a backup. Uh, I can't. Yes, as Dave was saying, the point of this, I'm sorry, we're not going to be watching the chat. Uh, we might jump on after the game and talk to you guys, but uh, the point of this is we, we, we're, we're in late beta, or no, sorry, early beta. Uh, the rules are just about done, but it'll be a lot of play testing. But one thing I haven't yet done is just play the game of Ravage Star and seeing just how, how long it takes. Because we're always filming, and so that takes longer. Uh -huh. And we are always like, we'll, we'll do some camera switching. Dave's got the little thing there so he can switch, but we're not going to get like the nice fancy close up shot. So this will just be an overhead and then like some side angles as well as, and Dave can basically do that while I'm doing my turns, right? Like, so appease my ADHD. Yeah, it gives me something to yeah, do. Yeah. It's, like, hey, it's all be the token polar and you can be the camera switcher. Sounds good. But and we're I'll, not going to take the extra effort. I'll time it. And you know what it is? Time time? It I'll yeah. still time it though. Yeah, and we're not going to take the extra effort to get those nice close-up shots, because which are they're beautiful, but this is a live game for a reason. Yeah, we need we just need to go. Okay. So you guys are welcome to talk to each other, um, and uh, you know what? You, I'll check one thing though. Just let me know how the audio sounds. Make sure that it's actually coming through, because I hate to like. Yeah. Do all this through. whole thing, and then the whole thing is scrapped. Because so I'll go check the chat for that. And then we'll start the timer and actually start playing. And th there's no armies on the table yet. Not yet. There's not even objective markers on the table yet because we're going to be doing a scenario where we place the objective markers back and forth. And that's a part of the way. game length, right? Exactly. Yeah, okay. I, had I did do the work of collecting all of the tokens beforehand, but I kind of assume people will do that when they bring their army. They can bring the mm. tokens too. Oh, Spoons gave up $5. <laughs> How dare you interrupt my regular scheduled work day with a surprise stream. So Boom. rude. Keep up the great. Yeah, thank you, Spoons. Nice seeing you at Adepticon, Spoons. Yeah, yeah. Um, Here I'm sound is like fine. This. Yes, audio sounds good. Good. Sorry that we're not going to watch chat, but that would definitely slow us down, even though I love interacting with you guys. We literally said we're not going to, and then we just did. No, I had to check the audio. I know, I know, I know. I had to check the audio. Okay, so. Do we want to. Okay, here's I, the thing, where, too. Where did I put the. Might I ah, suggest this? We don't actually roll here, we roll on the table. Like regular players? Yes, yeah, because that's how a normal game would be. Yeah, and yeah. we'll just call out what we get. Yeah, okay, and just try to remember that. Uh, okay, so we're going to be playing scenario three. It's a new scenario, so you've never played this. Cool. And I've never actually played it, but I'm not too worried if the scenario is good because scenarios are pretty easy to write um, when you're just doing like match play ones, which are like the. You mean when you're a genius and you come up with the stuff like it's effortless? Well, yes, I know what you don't mean, but na yes. narrative scenarios are tougher because you have to find that balance between balance and fun and narrative. But so this one's called Vital Resources. So the deployment is off the table. We're going to do full six by four. So, except for, you know, I, I put some fancy stuff at the back because I always like that. Oh, before we forget, Wayland Games, thank you. Um, this is, you can see in the bottom left there, it's sponsored by Wayland Games. Um, Wayland Games is and will, will be carrying Ravage Star. That's so, right, they yeah. will be. So it's like, yeah, this is perfectly, it fits, it's relevant, it's awesome. Super awesome folks over at Wayland. So, yeah, fast shipping, worldwide shipping, except for like Games Workshop stuff where they're locked to... Um, I think just the UK. I don't want to say it wrong, though. It might be all of Europe. I think it's UK is one zone and continental Europe is another zone, that Games Workshop. For those products specifically, for, yes. Specifically for Games Workshop. Yeah. But for Ravage Star, no, it won't that's matter. worldwide. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, why don't you hit the timer? All right. We're going to assume that we're like, okay, start. Dave, we're going to play Vital Resources. So, it says here we're on opposite table edges. Yep. We've already looked at we're doing the free detachments. We agreed to that before we came. 
24 inch no man's land, so on a 6x4, that means we have 12 inch deployments. Get your own measuring tape. Well, the, was you were were you uh, holding this? Okay, fine. I'll this get is, one for you. This is this is part of our time. <laughs> Forgetting the measuring. Continue tape. explaining. I'll find one for you. Okay, so we're gonna roll off, and the loser starts deploying first. Oh, we're supposed to place objective markers first. I should make that clear. Um, which will have five objective markers. We're gonna roll off. The winner places the first one. We're gonna alternate. But you need to understand how the objective markers work before you place them, because once we start going, you'll be like, oh, if I knew that, I would have placed it like sure. this. Yeah. So the rule is um, you have to be placed in no man's land or within six inches of no man's land. So that would be up to six inches back this way. I say it that way in case you play with different table sizes. All right. So where's no man's land? Uh, well, we, we have a 12-inch deployment. Yep. So no man's land would be outside of that. Okay, so the 24 inches in the middle. Yeah, so you have to place it in there or within six inches of no man's land. So you can be up to like six inches of your own in your own deployment zone. So you might think, well, I'll just go huh. place them all in my own deployment zone. Well. No, I want to go to you. There's that too. So, uh, at, so basically the way the scoring works is at the end of each battle round, you get a victory point if you control just any objective. Not each. Just as long as you have at least one, you get one victory point. Piece of cake. You should always get that one unless you're doing really poorly. You also get another victory point if you control more than your opponent. Mm. Okay? But you get two victory points for each objective that you hold that is in your opponent's deployment zone. So that gives you a reason to want to place them in your opponent's zone. two. They're victory. two each. Ah. So if you somehow manage to get like three in their deployment zone and you manage to grab all three, that's like six victory points. Um, you also get one victory point for each objective that you control that was the enemies at the beginning of that battle round. Hmm. So if you take it over. Yeah. So, you, so, so honestly, the whole one victory point for holding one objective and one victory point for holding more, it's like a minor tiebreaker. Okay. It's really about taking objectives away from your opponent yep. and taking the objectives in their deployment zone. Yeah, because that's two in each each case? Two victory yeah. points? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, no, one for the taking it away from your opponent. Oh, it's one for taking it away. Two, two for, for in the, their yeah. deployment zone. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then also two victory points for whoever destroyed the most units that that turn, that round. Yes, good. Because that should always be something. Yes, I agree. Yeah. And then everything else is normal. Five rounds. Um, and then you get extra boost tokens if you're behind in points. Okay, so roll off, and the winner gets to place, because there's five objectives. So where'd they go? Here they are. Whoop! You can't see that. You got a six. I got a two. So you'll do three, and I'll do two. So remember, it has to be more than six inches away from the table edge. I think it also says more than 12 inches away from each other. Yes. And we're measuring from the center of the objectives for all of that. Okay. Okay, so at least six inches away from table edges. So I go first, yeah? Yeah, and we're going to go back and forth and place the five. Okay, so what I'll do then is I'll place this just within your deployment zone on your side. So like, here's, that would be like right along this line. Yeah. So right yeah. there? Yeah, right there. Because you want to go and nab that one. Yeah. So this one will count. We'll make sure it's in. So it's the middle of the objective that matters for whether it, for where it is. Okay. Well, I like that idea. Um, thinking about my army, I'll do the same thing. So if you can just measure that to get within 12 inches. I think these woods are important to us. So I like like to stick it there. Okay. All right, here you go. Good. Remember, you get to do two more. I only get to do one. And they got to be 12 inches away from each other? Yeah. Are you just going to try to line them up? So I'll do another one like right there as much as I can... Okay. Legally place it. Because the thing is, that's my strategy anyway. It's just to move forward and try to get you. So Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to try to do something interesting and put one in the middle. And fight because, over? Because that'll give me something to get points. And if you're going to play them all on my side, well, then I can camp them. Good. And but I'm not going to put them all on your side. I'll put the last one here. Okay. Because yeah. if you give me all those, then it's easy for me to always get the two victory points for controlling one and controlling more. So I might make it a rule that you can only place up the two in your opponent's side, and that way it forces them to be not just on opposite sides of the table. But other than that, it's a pretty straightforward idea. Okay, so now we roll off and the loser, we're gonna place, we're gonna start deploying. Yep. So we're gonna roll off and the loser starts deploying first and we just alternate deployment. One. 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 Okay, re-roll. Two. One. One. <laughs> you know, I just realized that the dice tray, this is gonna bug me. Just it's, remove the dice yeah. tray? Yeah. You gotta remove it from all of them though. Okay. You're, you're eating into our game time. Am I? Well, a little bit, I guess. Okay. I'll deploy first. Okay. Okay, I'll deploy my Razor Worm first. It'll be underground in advanced deploy. So now it's your turn. Oh, I'll do that with uh, one of the units of the flying uh, uh, Valkyrs because they, have they, have, they do two units. To... 
So I'll do that oh, yeah, for pretty one. Much, per, pretty much every flying thing I gave advanced deploy. Yeah, one and then the other I'll do that. All right, well, that's the only one I have that's advanced deploy, so. Okay, I think that's that's it for everything. So there we go. So you're putting two in reserve, basically? Yeah. Okay, I'll put my mind chocolate right here, which means now it's my turn again. So I'll put my, my huge Macedon right here, getting ready to barrel up the table. Macedon. You know what? I'll do my Oathborn right here, and sure, I'll, I'll do this. Yeah. I've got more of an elite support list, and you've got more of a core elite list. Okay. So these That's are actual detachments from the book. I know people are going to ask which ones. I don't remember the numbers. But. So you, you started deploying first, even though I rolled higher. Right? I rolled a two and you Yeah, the one. loser has to start deploying. Oh, okay. Because it gives you the advantage of seeing where I'm going. Mm, yes. So Yes, indeed. Okay. Okay. I yeah. got my flame terrors down. It's your turn. Let's do uh, the, a unit of Valkyrs. Okay. Uh, let's just go over here. Those are nice, good objective holders, but they can also do some damage. Lady Maxima. Oh, what's in here? That was a piece from something else. Oh, well, it's staying there now. Okay. For those watching right now, you're wonderful people. We love you very much. This is true. Even though we can't see the chat, can't help but interact. Your turn. Okay. Second. I, know, I, I can notice that. <laughs> you're just like, can't help but talk. I can't. The people. They're here. The people are here, Matt. Where yeah. are my pile of papers of my units? Here they are. I just have to quickly check. I don't remember if the flesh scorchers... Funny, I write all the rules, but I can remember the core rules, but it's like which unit mm -hmm. has which special rule. That's changed so many times for stuff that... Oh, my goodness. I do not want to rely on my memory. Okay. Zore is uh, 3D printed with the old resin, therefore is more brittle. A lot of these are old resin. Um, we do have some PVC. Oh, okay. But this one's advanced deploy, too, so I'm going to do that. Which one? Flesh Scorcher? The Flesh Scorcher, yeah. Okay, you advanced deploy that one? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six things deployed. How many do you have deployed, including the ones in advance deploy? So that was five. So one, two, three, four, five. So you're not, you're not going to. Yeah, you don't want to advance deploy her Can't. because she doesn't have advance deploy. Have yeah. Well, yeah. she buffs nearby dominarians. So keep that in mind when you play nearby her. dominarians, both the sentries and the fanatics. Okay. Because she comes in the box with them, so I had to make her synergize with them. Makes sense. Okay. So, so she whips them in a frenzy. She, and she does different things for each of them. She'll go here. Done. So kind of keep that in mind. If you want to you know that. And I think your Lord Gustavar, he buffs nearby um, Banshees. Jump units. And uh, what's the other name of them? Banshees and... Yeah, Wraiths. Like, yeah, and Wraith. So... I like your sandal, Steve. That's sandal season. You know, this is actually a good thing for game length because there are going to be distractions in the game, right? Of course, of course. Yeah. Like Steve Sandals. I mean, you know, that's a thing. So I got six on the board. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven deployed. So I need one more then? Yeah. Yeah. Is this a third unit? No, this is the second unit of Valky. Yeah, there should be a unit of six and a unit of seven. One with the champion, one with the harbinger. Okay, right here. The one, just remember, the one with the champion is faster and the one with the harbinger has a fear aura. Okay, done. You're done your next one? I am. I'm just about done. I'll just place my last one. It's just flesh seekers. Okay. My, uh, just a unit of objective holders in this one because I don't have Null or Rylan. Ryavis? Is it Ryavis? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Do I remember their names? Hey, man. It's, there's like how many hundreds of units? Or... Sorry. Dozens. That, yeah. There's a lot. There's still a lot. Yeah. Okay. The Vatra will be back here. Okay. These two will be in reserve. I'm just going to plop them right here. Because even though we're playing with six feet technically, we decided to put everything within four, which I find happens in a lot of games. And then. And see, I, okay, so four by four is not bad for this game size. Some people were like, I think six by four would be better, but four by four seems fine. It seems fine. Yeah. Larger uh, games, you'll definitely want to go up. Okay. So I'm. It's good to know. I got all mine. Okay. So things in advance deploy, we still put the tokens in the bag because they show up turn one. 
That's right, and we just redeploy them as normal. Yes. When they are, wh whether it's a boost or just their regular token, yeah, we can just take them out as per normal. Yeah, now the Razor Room, if I boost it, I can redeploy by going dunk and knocking guys back. Displacing dudes? Yeah. Yeah. The so. one that breaks the rule. Yes. Okay, so I've got all our tokens here. Okay. So I'll put them all in. So before the game, I. So it's 10, 10 and a half minutes, roughly, to deploy okay. and learn scenario and place objectives. It's not bad. I'm hoping the whole thing plays in like an hour and a half. Okay, that's the... Can you imagine like a regular size game of a... I know this isn't like a million units. I, if you want to compare it to 40K, I'd say that this is like half the size of a 40K game. But that's where I like to play 40K at the 1,000 points. Well, I got nine units, man. All right. You should have 10. Well, yeah, 10 because the Valkyrs are duplicates, right? Yeah, it's plenty. Like, plenty's going to happen. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Good luck. Ready, ready. There's not any pregame scout. You don't have any scout moves on anybody. Um, not that I want to do. Okay. Even okay. if I had them. So you get your boost first. Oh, okay. Most Now, I've updated a lot of the boosts, so a lot of things have access to Swift as a boost. Because I wanted to make sure that no matter what, the boost... Or usually, like 90% of the time, the boost will be at least something. Mm -hmm. How are we treating this terrain here in the middle? You cannot pass through it, and you cannot see through it. Okay, so I can't see any of your army? Uh, not where you are. Okay, I guess I'll just have to just move forward. That's so usually what the first few turns are. Yeah, so let's do that. Oh, wait. Banshees. I'll bring on the Banshees right away. Okay, what is their boost? Uh, they can redeploy, which... okay. It's no, whipped. Not, neither of their boosts are going to matter. So redeploy is good. No, they already have that when they advance deploy. Oh, you're right. It, so, that, that's so that you, you know what, that's redundant, so I'm not going to actually yeah, activate that. That's not going to do anything for them. I know I just said it should do something almost all the time, but advanced deploy is a little different because you're not on the table. I will boost the Oathborn because it gains swift. There you go. That way he can get to a better position. Yeah, and then he moves six, but with swift he runs double his move. Absolutely. So then he'll go 12, and he'll camp right there. Yeah, and just so you know, redeploy by default is a single action. But it, with advanced deploy, is it a double action? Um, yeah, no, it's a single action. So if you have guns on somebody who's coming in advanced deploy, he could drop in and still fire the guns, because it's only a single action to redeploy. OK. So you can't come in and charge. That's impossible. Okay, uh, we got my boost. Oh. It would have to be you anyway, right? Because I pulled a boost. That's true. Thankfully, the, it did it for us. Okay, uh, who wants that boost? I can gain swift on my Mastodon, but I don't think I'm in range to charge you. Oh, please nope. be in range. No, nope. I'm 14 inches, a 14 inch charge away. And he'd only go 12. Ah, uh, he only moves six? Yeah, most things are six. If they're fast, they move eight. Um, you know what? I'll take a pot shot of him because my mind shackler, I could boost him. Now, boosting him is kind of a... You know what, actually? Flame tears and Rage tears. Are there anything cool I can do you with their boost? I'm going to line these up like how I would in a normal game. This is what I would be doing. And line them up according to where they are placed on the field. Is your Oathborn large? or is it? Yes, indeed. So he counts as three models, so for blast purposes, I'd get one extra shot. Oh, it's not great, but let's take a pot shot at him. I'm going to boost the Flame Terrors. Mm -hmm. Now, I've added Leaderless to Flame Terrors and Rage Terrors now, but I've also added a new rule called Close Formation, which means their coherency is only an inch. And that stops you from like, well, he's the leader, move up. Blah, the three <laughs> inches plus the base. It's not a big deal for like um, swarmy guys, but it's a bigger deal for them. Okay. So they only move four because of that, because I made them leaderless. So this one will be the leader for the movement. And then I'll pop this guy in front, but keeping him an inch. And then for the shooting, and by the way, their boost is going to be that I'm going to gain anti-armor and piercing. Uh, it's not that scary. They're only going to have a few shots. It's just a... Anti-armor what? Nine plus and piercing nine plus. They have built in poison nine plus, which won't matter against him, but reaping nine plus as well. So we're going to fire at him. He's outside of eight, so that'll be medium range. All my dice are over here, right? So they're one shot each, but they have blast. You count as three models, and blast will give me one shot extra because they count as three. So, yeah. so it'll be four shots total. Uh, hitting on fives because of medium range. You don't have any cover. And then 
Nines will give me two hits that are anti-armor and piercing. So we got uh, one hit. That's nothing special. No AP. So just his five up save. Five up. He's fine. He made it. Okay. okay, that was their activation. Now it has to be you next. Uh, it's an elite. An elite. That'll be your Vatra or your guys in reserve. Yeah, let's bring down a Banshee unit. Let's do that. And this is advanced deploy, so I just get to redeploy them. Uh, and the Banshees are the ones that aren't clawed. They're the ones with weapons. So they can actually come down since so it's a single action, and then they can shoot. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll... Their weapons aren't great. They're only four inch range, but they could maybe point off a wound or two off of something. So I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. Oh, the, these. Can... Those are in reserve. So I'll come here. Uh, so more than eight inches away. That's eight. So your unit leader's placed more than eight inches away, and then the other ones are placement coherence. I think that's the unit leader. Yeah, it's a double pistol one. Yeah. Okay. And so even like the other ones that you placed could be within eight inches, but it's only the unit leader that checks range. So there's not really any advantage to that. Yeah, I think your pistols are just four inch, so you'll be at long range. Let's use the one with the claw as a unit leader, because that's the only one different. Because we got two double pistol ones. Sure. Okay. So then I'll shoot your flesh seekers. Okay, so it'll be long range. Because it's because they're I think they're only they're pistols, so they're four inch range. Oh yeah, you're right. They okay. have assault, so when you charge you can shoot them as well. That's what their main purpose is, but yeah. You can take pot shots with So that's main. five. Yeah. And I normally hit on uh, five, so that's uh, eights to hit. That's it. Anything special on their pistols? One, two, three. So nine plus is yes. It's uh, reaping nine plus. So I get two, four, six. Jeez. Okay, that was a good pot shot. Yeah. <laughs> Any AP? AP one. AP one. So I think that brings me to an eight up. <laughs> <laughs> that was supposed to just be like pot shot. All right, pot shot. <laughs> All right, eight up. I make zero. Oh, no. <laughs> Kill six. <laughs> Um, How many in the unit? There's 12. That's not enough for a uh, a leadership test because I have to go below half. That's right. So you're exactly half? I'm not exactly half. Yeah. Okay. But do they not have a mechanic where they themselves can bring some back? Or if they, they boost. If they boost. Which I've already used a boost. Yeah. So I'm going to... And have. I only have one core. So if I draw a core, I have to activate them. Yeah. So you have to think about that in list building, right? That you kind of want redundancy in each of the categories so that you can have a bit more control. Yeah. So I'm hoping to draw a boost before I draw my core. Yep. So as anybody next, your boost. Okay. So it has to be you after this. Yeah. You drew the boost early. Good. Mm. Which That's in the first neat. turn is not a big deal. Second turn, you want to draw your boost early. Call reinforcements. So tempted to go over and look at the comments. I know, right? It's that... I can't, I, it's hard to keep my brain well, I'm just going to quickly look to make sure that the stream hasn't failed. I'll, <laughs> I'll jump over here every once in a while to make sure the stream hasn't failed. Sounds good. Swift. Yeah. Let's have this. Um... Yeah, everything looks good. Okay. So I'm just going to boost my, uh, it doesn't actually, it feels like it doesn't matter at this point because we're so far away. So then of Vice Lord with jump pack here. So uh, just read the rules for the Ooh, Vice Lord. So 16. It has a boost. Oh, sorry, that has a built-in rule that nearby Dominarians get stuff. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're moving if they're, When they're within 12. Yep. I'm, I'm not saying that you shouldn't move them. I'm just saying I don't want you to be like, oh, if I knew that, I would have done that differently. But it says that Dominarian fanatics gain plus two to moving, running, and charging distances. Yeah, so that's How that. close do they have to be? It, uh, it doesn't oh, say. Oh, it doesn't say. It should, it's within, the second one says, while within 12 inches. And so it's within 12 inches. Okay. So, so that's my bad for omitting that. Okay, so I'll be on that. I'll be within 12. Yeah, so it'll give them plus two to their move. I'll and the sentries, back. I think, get better shooting, right? They gain, uh, running, charging. They gain skirmisher. Oh, cool. <laughs> like, I don't remember what it was. You know, skirmisher is after you shoot, you get the free move action. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, so they could move, shoot, and then move again. So I boosted, so you have to go. Okay, so it was just a swift move. That's it. Which you didn't even use your full move. Um, I got a support, which I have a few choices for. We already know my Mastodon or is out of range. So let's do my Rage Tears, and we're just going to run them. So they're going to run six inches. 
I'm just going to run because, and because, cause some terror. Because they're leaderless. Unless, what's the range of their guns? Disruption pulse. It's eight inches, and it has stun. Oh, my other ones had stun too, but it didn't even hit you once. Oh, no, you're, you're immune, so I don't have to worry about that. Why am I immune to stun? Because you are boosted. Ah, that's true. So I'm going to move up like this. And try to kind of screen. Okay. <laughs> then we have your commander, one of your commanders. You got one in, no, no, none of them in reserve. All right, Lord Gustavar has to be him then. Yeah, because you've already gone with the Vice Lord. Yeah, I'm just going to move up. I'll run up. So double move. I move eight so I can go up to 12. Yeah, he's fast with his yeah. little jump pack. So I'll go like this. I'll go behind. That Oathborn, I'm done. Okay. Uh, leap for you. Okay. So it'll be your other advanced deploy or your Batra. Yeah, let's do the other advanced deploy. The raids? The no, they don't raids. have any guns, so you can move them in, and then you could actually move them, too. You could redeploy them and then move them. No way. Yeah. There's all sorts of interesting interactions. Redeploy and then move. Interesting. So I can go outside of eight, then move. Yep. But that will be your whole activation, so you have to kind of consider what you're doing that for. And I kind of... Oh, oh. <gasps> you know what? I'll just do it. So I'll go with an eight here. And then move forward. And then I'll move so that I'm on that objective, and I'll just like kind of... Well, you can get right in my face because you move eight. I will goad you. Uh, like that? What's the range of your... You know, yeah, I'll just do it. I'll just get this is the leader, so we want the leader to be on the objective. So that's right. that matters. It's the range of my what? It doesn't matter. I was thinking about your um, Belay Furies. Yeah, they're scary if they're boosted. They're also scary if they're not boosted, but... Yeah. And then here's the token for them. Okay, uh, I got an Elite. Well, let's do the Blade Furies. <laughs> I think that's my only Elite. Yeah. Because everything else is supports. Wait a second. Are these guys Elites? Have I been doing that wrong? Dang it, they are. <laughs> okay. So, so you have to do the mask down or the agent down instead? So I'm just going to go into here and swap it out because I did it wrong. You okay with that? I'm totally fine with that. Yeah. So whether it be playtesting or not, I'd be fine with it. Yeah. I, I'm mixing up my own thing. I gotta, I might that's, be, I that's might. actually really relieving to know that even the game rule designer oh, geez, yeah. can make errors. It's like, it's reasonable. Okay. So that means I have to activate the Blade Furies. Oh, I wish I had. If I had boosted them, they get three actions. So I could fire at you and then charge you. Yep. It is so freaking cool. I think I'll just charge you because they have decent close combat attacks. But I'm going to quickly check because it's been a while since I've used them. They're all two damage, whether they shoot or charge. They're anti armor is their acid cannon. So they, yeah, so they're, they're more meant to punch through vehicles and stuff. Yeah. So they're going to charge. Um, nice and easy. Just gonna there with the leader. All right, let's see what you do. All right, it's not really showing. See if you see if you regret your choices. So I get twelve attacks. So that's a punch in. That actually might not be bad. It kind of shows it with that. Yeah, as long as you're only doing that when I'm going, it doesn't slow the game down. Uh, okay, so I hit you on fours. Uh, it's piercing eight and crushing eight. The crushing doesn't matter because it goes from two damage to three damage. So it'll just be the piercing eight. These are AP nothing otherwise. So four is to hit, aces, eights are piercing. So I actually rolled pretty well. So we got one, two, three, four. We got five piercing and five not piercing. So five regular saves and five at AP two. Okay, let's do five at AP two. So seven plus defense here. Oh, one, that's two, good. three, four. So one dies from that because it's, it's two damage. Yeah, two wounds. And the other five regular at defense five? Yeah, this is where you'll roll low, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. you lose three more. <laughs> it's like at the AP two ones, you're like, yeah, no problem. The AP nothing, however, that's my greatest weakness. Yeah, I don't cool. know where you want to put dead guys, but here you go. There you go. Handle with care because they're 3D printed. So now i got to make a leadership because I'm below half. Yep, and I don't have stun, so it's just your regular leadership. My mind shockler does have tier, though. Okay, so you were at uh, five, and so it'd be seven, seven plus. Yeah. Okay. I guess I... you're you're good. So you're still on the objective, although obviously I hold it because I got more guys. Yeah. Um, uh, where's the bag? I feel like every time I'm looking for the bag for two seconds, I'm costing time. Yeah. <laughs> elite. Okay, I boosted my other elite, so that is a. 
put to the side. Here, let's, there you go. Uh, your core. So that would be your Dominarans or your Valkyrs. Okay, I'll do the, let's do these sentries over here on this side. <laughs> Can't help it. You gotta put the camera on your chair. Can't help it. All right, so I move six, so I'll just run. Oh, hold on, I could shoot at you, but it's not gonna do a thing. So I'll just go for well, it. I'm only a five up. Like, you have to remember, the way I designed the game is that armored stuff gets the armored keyword. It doesn't get a better defense, which means even small arms fire can do damage. How, uh, how many wounds are those? Are they the rage terrors? Or? Those ones are the rage terrors. Six wounds each with a six up defense. So it's 50-50. Every shot you hit me with, 50-50, it does a wound. Huh. They have armored one, which means they ignore the, the AP one. Okay, so then what I'll do then is I'll move six. And it'll probably be a long, it'll probably be a medium range shot is my guess. So it'll be within 16, but not within eight. Yeah. Yep. So I'll do so that. So I think that's worth the shots. Yeah, there's 10. Honest. There's 10 shots, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because remember our first iteration, the Apocalypse had like a three up save. And I just didn't like it. You didn't like it either, I remember. Because it was just felt like, feels bad that. It was too powerful. It was like, it was 20 wounds of the three up save. You just can't get through it. And the idea of like, well, why not give it just a five up save, but with an armored keyword that ignores AP? Mm -hmm. And what One, are we looking for, two, by the way? Three for sevens. What do the sevens do? They hit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're just dominarians. I'm like, so what's special about the sevens? Three no. hits. Three, three hits. hits. Six up saves. I they all three. Okay. You just knocked half the wounds off of one of them. <laughs> wow. And of course, I didn't bring any little dice. For oh, I did. I did. I did. Oh, for wounds? Yeah. So <laughs> I'll hit the one in the back. Actually, it doesn't matter. I just put it on the unit. But Yeah, it seems to be going both ways in terms of we are killing each other easily. Yeah, but you never wipe out squads, you'll notice. Not yet. Even yeah. like those Blade Furies, they go in there, and they got, I got lucky with you rolling poorly for your defense. Yeah. But that's, that's how I tried it. I'm, that was kind of the, some of the thoughts, too, is like nothing should just, except for Lord Tyrek on the Devourer, my commander. My yeah, that, that, that. Like, he's like the exception. He's my favorite unit in the whole game, by the way. Uh, it's just so yeah, much he's, fun. He's scary. He's scary. But you can deal with him. You lost him to Banely and so to the uh, Grudge Mites, right? Yeah. He rolled in and blew up and he died. Yeah. So after he rampaged through half the army. Yes, of course. But still. Okay, I'm going to do the Mind Shackler. Uh, his weapon has snipe, sniper, so I don't have to worry about range. But you do have light cover from that tree. So I will... Which is minus one of your accuracy? Yeah, I could just focus to ignore it. Which is plus uh, one to your accuracy if you focus for one action? Yeah. But I'm going to move because he's got a really good like 12-inch Nova that stuns everybody. So he's actually a more... You know he has a sniper weapon? And Nova is like be. you attack and you... I can attack multiple, multiple times. Multiple units yeah, within... So like Nova four. 4. I can shoot at four different units with the same gun. Is it Nova 2 or Nova 4 on him right now? So his Mind Pulse, which is boost only, is... It can only be used in a boost. It's Nova 4, Volley Fire, which means it doesn't have to have line, line of sight. Of sight right? um, short range only, but it has a 12-inch range. And Stun. And he's got a 12-inch Fear Aura. So basically, he he gets one shot against everybody, against four units within 12, on a three. Yeah. It is two damage, two AP, so he might like pop the brains out of one of the guys if it's like a little unit or hurt like a vehicle. But really, it's about the stun check at minus two leadership. Yeah. So yeah, that that's his that's his boost thing. He goes boom. Okay, he's oh, I'm gonna fire. So you're still in light cover. Um, Both gonna, Yeah. So I'm just it's just one. I'm gonna do mind strike. So this is just a four to hit, but I'm really looking for the anti armor seven plus. And oh, it has ignore cover. Look at that. Isn't that fancy? So I'm actually hitting on threes. Threes to hit, but sevens are good. Uh, two. <laughs> All the setup. Should have focused. I know, right? Just stayed where it was and focused. <laughs> so I forgot I had, had ignore cover. But either way, I still want to move up. That's okay. true. All right. <laughs> All the setup. It happened so much. My support. You know what? Let's, uh... Yeah. No, no, no. He has to boost in order to get the cool redeploy. Oh, the razor worm? Hold on. Let me double check. But I'm pretty sure it's boost only that he does that. <laughs> That's great. Oh, no, no. Whenever he uses redeploy, he can do it. All right, he's coming in. You know what? We're just going to have... Oh, you got anti-armor guys in the back there. You do I? Screw, I don't care. Oh, no, you're right, I do. 
I chose because I this the detachment you had was either the Vatra or the Gotre or Goretti. Goretti. And the Goretti are anti infantry and they're anti armor. And I was looking at your army, I'm like, you have a lot of anti infantry already, so you would probably choose the anti armor version mm. to balance it out. Yeah. But either way, he's coming in in your back lines because that's fun. Ooh. And we're going to crush into your Vatra because it's heavy impact three, so it could. Although I think they have more than two wounds, right? Are they three wounds? These no, guys have two wounds each. Yeah. Yeah. The Vatra here. So he might actually manage to kill one or two of them. Okay, yeah. So we're going to displace them. They're going to have to do a stun sh or a leadership check at minus two, and they're going to get hit three times automatically. So, we're so this is a non-boosted redeploy. Yeah, Razor Room just gets to do this every time. Yeah, he gives up. Like, if you compare him to the Apocalypse and the Ambassador, uh -huh. which are his, like, 20 wound counterparts in the other armies, he does not have the same hitting power. His weapons are not nearly as good. But this is his shtick. Yeah. So he's going to come right here. So, so I got to move the leader. Move the leader until he's the minimum distance until he's out of engagement range. Okay, which is about there. Remove the other guys that are in my way. You actually technically remove them all. And then place them back in coherency with him and out of engagement. So he just popped up. Now, it's a double action for him to do that. Yeah. And you have impact and, attacks, yeah. And it can't use it to charge. Because huge models can bulldoze and charge now at the same time. So they can bulldoze through guys and charge. Good. Yeah, because we wanted to bring that back. Um, so and, impact attacks, yeah? So heavy impact three. So three at AP two. Do they have armored? Armored one. So it's AP one. Yeah, so six up defense then. Oh, I, you failed two. And they're, they're two damage each. So you remove two? Yeah, just killed two of them. <laughs> and then give me a leadership check with minus two leadership because he's got fear. Okay. Oh, you fail. Fail. Yeah. Here, I got tokens. They are shaken. The they only get one action when they activate, unless I boost them, which I can't because I already used both my boosts. Well, you'll have a chance to get rid of it when you activate them. You get another check. It'll still be at minus two leadership, though. Because it's fear. Yeah. Fear aura. Okay, that wasn't boosted, so that was my activation. Oh, can you just throw that on him, please? Whoop. And then we got your elite. So that would be the Vatra, because you've already done your other elites. Sure. All right, let's see if they are no longer shaken. What do you need? I need not. Not a two. Not a two, so they're uh, still shaken. didn't even matter there. So they're still shaken, which means they can only do one action. I'll shoot. Yeah, so it's still good. They get to shoot at full accuracy and everything. Sure, it's I'll shoot at him. They just don't get the focus. They don't get to, they don't get to move. Um, okay, so take a look at their guns. So with their... Flame the, gauntlet. The one guy that's got a flame gauntlet, the other two have the the Vatra weapons or whatever they're called. Tank Slayers. Let's do that. Yeah, anti-armor piercing. Yeah, this is the one that we want. Okay, so that's one shot each. So that the leader has a flame gauntlet. Yeah. And I do that in addition to the other. Yeah, each model chooses a weapon. And can the leader also choose to do a tank slayer? No, you can see it says... Um, Non-unit leader models. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll do that first then. There's only two. So I hit on fours, but I am shaken. Does that affect anything? Nope. nope. So fours to hit with that, and I get one hit. Oh, yeah, but that's going to be special. It will. So it's anti-armor, A+, plus, which I got. Uh, and then piercing, eight, four. So the AP, instead of two, becomes four. That's right. So I'll have a nine-up save against that. Okay. And if I fail it, how much damage does it do? Three damage. Okay. Fail it. So you just did three damage, so I'm down to 17. And now the two attacks from the flame gauntlets. Yeah. Um... Four is to hit there, so I hit one. Blast on short, so you got to make a leader shake because it kind of stopped. Hold on, did it have blast? Did you account for the two extra shots you get because I'm huge? No. So I take two more shots. And that's two more hits, so three hits now. Okay, I'll give you these to mark his wounds in a second. Three more at what AP? Uh, AP one. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter, I ignore those. So five up. Nothing. Nothing. So just mark them at 17, so one and a seven. That was at one and a seven, cool. Okay. Well, that's them. Yes. Core for me. That's my flesh seeker. So I guess they're not coming back. <laughs> yeah, because no boost, right? You know what? I'm still going to charge you, though. Yes. Do it. Do the charge. So this will be the unit leader for the charge. And then obviously it doesn't matter which one's the unit leader for the free close combat attack that you get after. I got to hold you off, right? Yeah. Because otherwise, you're going to charge me anyway, so it's not like I'm risking anything by doing this right now. Exactly. Oh, why was I about to pull a token? i got to roll my attack. Okay, I believe they're just six to hit, and something's reaping. 
Yeah, six is to hit and eights get two hits. One attack each. All right, you ready for this? I'm ready for six this. Six is to hit, eight are, and there's two hits on eights. Two hits. That's bad roll. Okay. No AP, obviously. No AP. So five up defense. Uh, one goes through. Okay, so you take one wound. You have two wounds apiece. Yep. That's all this mark of one. It doesn't actually matter which model you put it on. Like the rules do say, make sure you keep hurting the same model, but you just put it on the unit. And once you've suffered enough wounds to kill a model, remove any of the models. Because the unit leader's always the last. It's one. always last, yeah. I was going to yeah. say. So that's how I'm going to play it. Makes it's always, sense. There's rules as written because you have to make it tight enough, and then there's rules as intended. That's a support. That would be. Oh, hell, Kim. So just put it aside. If you don't have any others. Boost! Why did I get it down? Why did I bring it back? <laughs> and it's like, these guys would have been good for the boost. So the, this is actually the worst time. Your Blade Furies would have been good? Because the Blade Furies would have got three actions, so I would have shot first and maybe finished off that last guy and then yeah. charged in. Shooting, then charging? That'd be sweet. Yeah. I love that the three action one, I reserve it for very few units get that. I think only two, maybe three units in the entire game have a boost that says they get three actions instead of two. Because it's such a cool one. Which is funny because it's like the least flavor. And yet whenever you use it, you're just like, oh, this is so neat. Because you have so many new combinations that you never have to think of. It's because barely any units have it. It makes it special. That's what makes it special. Yeah. Okay. Uh, also makes it easy to use them because there isn't a bunch of special rules that you have to consult. It's like, yeah. Okay. I don't think I'm in range to do any. Yeah. So the problem is, so this guy boosting it will do nothing for on advanced deploy because it's all about making them better for close combat. And so, but I can give these guys swift and just get them in a better position. But I can't pass through these guys because they're large. Um, so this Aegidon is just going to swift back to here. Mm, close to the Banshees. Just to get ready to help out when you murder all of my guys. All right, so it has to be you next. So I should have yep, core. Core. Yeah. So all you have left is core. Yeah. So I'll do the fanatics there. Um, and I get extra move because my Vice Lord is within... Plus two to move, runs, and charges. But it's not to your movement characteristic, it's to the, the move itself. Okay, so it would be an 8-inch move instead of 6. And then it would be a... No, no, that's what I'm saying. It's not plus to your move characteristic. So calculate how far they're going to move, and then add 2 to that. I see. So if I run, I'll go 9, and then I would go 11. Then. Correct. Okay, so I'll go 11. So that's the evil leader. Look how fast I am. Look at that. So sorry. I get accepted for my own game. Done. Well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, our own game. I don't know why I said my. No, you, you I take feel, ownership. It I is. Feel, I it's feel, your I game. feel a lot of ownership. It's your game. As much as it's my game, it's not inaccurate for you to say it. It's true, it? right? Yeah, yeah. I, technically, I'm the latecomer. Yeah, that's I came true. In, I came in after everybody else. I was the last to this project. That's true. So support. So yeah. that'll. I'll do the flesh scorcher. He's gonna pop up out of the ground like a daisy. <laughs> he looks like a daisy. Like, look at that. So we'll come right here. That's terrifying. That's what, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? We're supposed to be making friends. Like, what's going on here? Friends. This this cool. causes fear, right? Uh, no, actually. What? That's terrifying. That should cause fear. But everything looks terrifying in the Gork But that's side. particularly terrifying. Like, come on. Like, uh, Gork dogs are kind of cute, right? Like, but that is like, bam. So he's got a Scorching Spray, which is two shots, but they're Blast. I'll fire at your big squad of 10, so that'll give me five more shots. Um, these are Poison 9+, plus and Anti-Armor 9+, plus and Piercing 9+, plus. but the Poison is all that matters in this case. So every 9+, plus just straight up kills a Dominarian, because you won't get a save. Okay. Uh, but they're 4s to hit normally, but so 5s because I'm at medium range. So 5s to hit, 9s just straight up kill. Ooh. So Ooh. two misses, one 9. So one straight up die. And then you get four saves with no AP. With no AP? What are they, sevens? They are sevens. Uh, so I three more one. die. And it does have stun, but you're not in range of any fear auras. So it's just their regular leadership. So there is a... Uh, does she have inspiring? Nope. Okay. Um, they are shaken. They are, okay. Sweet. Okay. That, can, that takes them off the objective. Now in this case it doesn't matter because you have the other one on the objective. Yeah. Okay, and I should have another core. I should have another support. Because that was on that one. So we've got my Mastodon. Yep, Mastodon. It's just going to be a... I'm just going to move right here. Mm. He doesn't have any shooting attacks, so... Right? Right? No, like, roars or anything? Nope. Just massive jaws and tail. Which are meant to punch through armor. 
Okay, and you just have core left, so I think we, we, we can empty this out. I have two core I should have. Oh, because you, you, your commander was boosted, and you have two core, and my other guy was boosted. Here you go. Okay. So let's do this one first. Yeah, feel free. When you, when you get to the point in the game where you know what's left, then just empty the bag and do it in that order. All right, so unit leader, which in this case is the banner. That's right. Okay, I'm running. Running. Running, running. Just remember, that one has a nice aura of fear. So you get that in the midst of my guys, and then start causing some leadership tests. Okay. Then oh, then you have the other one. I have the other one back. And that oh. one's automatically got swift. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's what the champion does. Ooh. It gives him swift built in. Okay, so I will go here. And protect against the flesh scorcher. Yes, indeed. The mandibles are more anti-armor. And his tail is more anti-infantry, as you can probably guess. But that's good. It's screening the objective, right? Yeah. Okay, that's round one. Cool. So let's look 40 at... minutes for round one. Well, plus the 50-minute deploy. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, I think that's okay. So let's count up points. So you get one point for holding at least one objective. We both have that. Oh, right here. At least one. Oh, yeah, and you got that one, too. Uh, you get another point for controlling more than your opponent. I currently control one, two, three. So that gives you an extra point. You gotta mark points. I don't have one scorecard. Where's our scorecard? Do you it's have one handy? It's taking extra time. I'm just kidding. Kind of. You can run to the the, the forge. We'll have one. Oh shoot! That'd be terrible. Yeah, don't dump models. I'll be right back. I'm gonna check the comments for a second because this doesn't count against. Well, the timer's still going. As we walk 20 steps to the mini Wargaming Forge and we get the scorecard, this is the first one on top of the pile. There you are, Mark and Dave. So let's keep it here. And here, I'll, I'll give you some green dice so that we don't accidentally pick them up. Yeah, and a D6 too for turn. Sure, I don't have any D6s. I only have little D6s. But... Here is a dice on the floor. Perfect. We're gonna mm, we'll go to turn two to switch it. So I'll be player one because that's kind of the angle that it's at. Yep. So I've got two points so far, and you've got one. So here you can mark. Then the scenario says if you take any from your opponent, that's worth a point. Well, I took one from you. Back here. Yep. Um, yeah. And so that's worth oh, a point for me. You're also holding in my image. That's yeah. right. Uh, so that's worth two more. So I got three more points. So that's up to five. Now, yeah. I do hold two, yeah? So that doesn't matter. You're right. Because you just hold at least one you mentioned. Yeah. It's about taking them Ooh. from your opponent and about taking the backline ones. So these are the important ones. And every other one, it's more like, now if I, if I get that one next turn. So you almost have to be careful about grabbing too many too early because then you're handing points over to your opponent for taking them back from you. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we didn't lose any full units, right? Oh, I totally should have stayed. <laughs> I'm like... I'm just going forward. I'm not even thinking, right? I'm not, not thinking about the points. But you know what? That's good. <laughs> no units fully died. So we can just put every token that's on the table back in the bag. And you get a bonus boost token. Because I'm losing. Because you're losing five to one. Here, I'll put that there, and I'm going to look for another boost token for you. Thank you, Baron of Dice, for this dice bag. Yes, they gave it to us at Adepticon, because we needed dice bags for our demos. We haven't got those in yet. Sweet. I like the size of that one, too. Yeah, it feels good. It's nice and tall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got one more token on my oh. razor worm, and I got one right here. Okay, so quick scan around. There's no tokens on the table. Not on the sides. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Round two. This is where it gets dicey. Mm -hmm. Commander for me. So least interesting. My mind checked with. <laughs> Why is it the least interesting? Because it's there's nothing on this table that it's particularly good against. Okay. It's better boosted. Um, so I might use it to just soften up some infantry then. Because that sniper thing is only really terrifying against smaller armored units. Where are you, dude? There you are. Uh, yeah, because he's got Mind Blast as well as Mind Strike. So the Mind Blast is what it sounds like. So I'll move. I can't move through guys in engage that are engaged. Hmm. I want to be able to see them stay within 16. So I'm going to have to actually just move right here. Because this, this fight is blocking me. 
then I'm going to fire my Mind Blast, which will be at medium range into your Valkyrs. So I'll get one, two, three more shots, plus so the three. Here? Yeah. So Valkyrie. six shots at medium range. I'll be hit on fours. These are just damage to AP one. So fours to hit. Nothing special about anything high. Oh, golly. Three hits. AP one. Oh, golly. Is that a good oh, golly? No. AP one? AP one. Okay, so six up. Oh. I failed them all. Golly. How many? There are two damage each. So it's three dead. And it's a stun, so you have a leadership check. Then there's no fear nearby. Which I'm one? shaking. Okay. <laughs> ah, just shaking your whole army. Yeah. Right, no, please the this heck? closer. Here you go. Next pull. We got my support. Wait, I, I didn't boost. Okay, so I, I still go. Okay, let's have some fun. Let's do the Rage Tears. Wait, no, they're elite. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, that mistake last time. Uh, let's do the Flesh Scorcher. I might as well finish them. Because I can't, the Agedon can't get into this fight yet. I, I have to hope that you kill my guys before I activate the Agedon. So that I can charge them. So we'll activate the Flesh Scorcher. Um, I'll declare a charge. And that'll be... Oh, yeah, because they're totally blocking. Yeah. And uh, you can't... I had, to, I had to put them in that way. Because when you charge in, you have to place guys in base contact whenever yeah. possible, so it does cover up a unit. You can't attack through guys in close combat. Um, well, actually, technically, these guys' bases are small enough that I could get within an inch by charging. So, technically, I could charge in. I say that. I, I forget that that's a thing. Because in other games, that's a thing, too. Well, that's, that's a consideration. So, it actually doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, he's going to do a 9-inch charge. So, multi-charging is allowed. I keep saying that it's not, but it literally says in the rules that it is. Is it like you put it in, but you forgot? I forgot, yeah. Because okay. <laughs> I think I went back and forth on it. Right. And so I was telling people to demo, yeah, you're not allowed to multi-charge. So multi-charge, and, then I read and the you rules choose after. which one you attack. Is that yes. it? Yes. You can only attack one, but you can multi-charge. Yeah. If you had more than one model in the unit, then each model can choose which unit it attacks. Um, so, hmm. so you yeah. go like five I'm dudes gonna, here. I'm going to charge right here, here because I want to get on that objective too, if possible. Yeah. Um, and then, well, yeah, that's not hard. They're shaking. They don't count as holding it anyway, right? So the problem is my claws are actually better at anti-armor, so shooting probably would have been better. But we yeah. just move up, not be engaged. Because I won't be able to get into the objective. Oh, because you gain more distance by charging. That's right. Got it. Okay. So it's going to be three massive pincer attacks. It'll hit on fours. I'm going to do it against your Valkyrs because it'll be better against them. Because you're damaged too? They're damaged three. So yeah. it's, it's better than just eating... Little, little guys. And it's crushing 9+. plus. It's piercing 9+, plus, so those 9s would be nice. 4s to hit. 9s are good. So we got 3 hits. Nothing, nothing special. AP 2, though. Okay, so 7 defense then. Uh, fell all. So 3 of them die. So wow. Four. So that's another... Oh, they're already shaken, so you don't have to do another test. Okay, next up wow. is your Elite. So that would be your Vatra, your Banshees, or your Leftover Wraith. Or if I got that backwards. You know what? I'll do the uh, I'll do these. Which the one? Banshees back there. Because I have a feeling that you're going to age Dawn into them. Or that I boost the uh, the Flesh Seekers and bring six or bring, four of them back. Bring them back, which I don't want. Uh, okay, Veil Blade. So you can focus first if you like. Ooh. Unless you feel like you can actually kill me. Because then you could move away. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's tr true. You move eight, right? I do move eight. Oh, yeah. Because I can... One, one action to close combat attack, and then one action to move away. So if you move eight, I'll be out of charge range unless I boost him. Interesting. So, But you have to kill all six of them, otherwise you're stuck. So I'm two attacks each then. Yep. Uh, and they should have reaping. Because they got those nice swords, right? I have to choose. No, no, no. It's uh, assault, reaping. So, so hold on. That's when I charge, though, right? Yeah, you don't get to use the pistols. No, I don't get to. So it's the Veil Blade. The melee attack is two attacks each. And there's six in there or five? There's six. six. So you're going to have ten attacks. Do they have, does it have reaping? There's six. So it's two attacks. It should be 12, yes? No, no. There's five guys. There's six of my guys. Sorry. I thought you were asking how many of mine. Banshee. So it's five. So it's ten. Yeah. yeah. Do they have reaping? No. They oh, have piercing. That's eight. right, because it's the guys with the claws that have reaping. Yeah. Oh, so do you want to focus? Do yeah, you hit on normally fours or threes? I normally hit on fives. Fives. Oh, because they're... Yeah. Okay, yeah. so... I'll just focus. That's fine. Just make sure you kill as much as yeah, you can. Yeah, and I probably even still won't kill them all here. Maybe. That's my guess. Fours to hit. Did 
you're rolling. You're rolling fours. <laughs> okay, well, that's the focus eight. it did nothing. That's eight at AP. AP nothing. Okay, seven up save. Actually, hold on. It's piercing three. So hold on. One, two, three. So that's three at AP three. So those and ones I have to five roll. at AP nothing. Got it. So these ones have to be tens. Nope. And these ones have to be sevens. Uh, one. You killed them all. Okay. And it's funny, I didn't even need to focus. You didn't right? need to focus. Yeah. But, but it's one of those difficult decisions, right? Yeah. It's not often that it's even a choice, because it's usually you don't have enough hitting power to kill a unit. And so you're like, yeah, I'll just focus. Get an extra couple hits in. Okay. No boost yet, eh? All right. Ah, boost. Mm. So I would have caught you anyways. Uh, is there something I love that because they've already activated. It's like the impetus to put the boost on the agent on is like ah exactly. There's not as not much of a reason. Now it does still make them better in close combat. See, even boosting, I want to do the razor worm before you keep shooting them, but his boost only helps him to he gives him swift and fly. So the idea is that he's going go go. So it's, it's fly, but it's more like he's burrowing and coming back to the spot. Um, you got these little wings that all add up. Yeah, it's more like a burrow fly. <laughs> uh, a burrow fly. <laughs> a burrow fly. Three actions on them. I don't really need that right now. You're stuck there. What's your mastodon? What, what can he do? Oh, they're not large. Who? These. But they are That's... support? No, they're elite. Okay. So I could charge through them. But do I have the range? So the mastodon, because it is huge. No, anything can pass. You can always pass through your own models unless they're large or huge. And they are not large they're not or huge. Large. Or he, obviously, they're not huge, obviously. So I'm going to boost him, and he's yeah. going to charge your Oathborn. So this is a scary moment for you. So far, you're on the back pedal here. I'm 12 wounds, though, man. Yeah. Can you get through them all? Uh, if I roll perfectly, yes. Okay, so Mastodon versus Oathborn. Here we go. Boom. I so desperately want to use that extra camera, don't you? Very much. <laughs> don't think about filming, Dave, while doing a battle report. Okay. So heavy impact three. So give me three AP two hits, which I think he ignores AP two. Three. Does he have, does he have armored one or two? For him, he's armored one. Just armored no, one? No, armored, armored two. I was going to say, I thought he was a beefier than that. He's armored two. So three five up saves. And then no, only two one. of them. Only so one. So that's four damage. Okay. So, so down I'm to eight. Down to eight, yeah. Now it's, now it's easier. I have four damage. Were those just the impact? That was the impact. Oh, jeez. Heavy impact. Heavy impact, three. And then we've got um, three attacks hitting on fours, but eight pluses are armor piercing. And a better piercing as well. So fours to hit, eights are good. Well, one misses. Okay, so i got to kind of put up the stakes here. So these are both AP4 and they ignore your armor. So you have two nine-up saves. If you fail both of these, he dies. Okay. Uh, I fell both. Double eight. <laughs> does he have explodes? Jeez. Uh, yeah, he does. Oh, oh, boy. So that's wounds and on any uh, nine pluses. Yeah, but he's large, so it's AP two. So, okay, this he's got 12 works. wounds, therefore I roll 12 dice. Yeah, so why don't you just roll those first? And on any nine pluses, you take... No, everybody within... What's his radius? Three inch explode? Three inch. So your guys... Two. Oh, it's only... Oh, yeah. It's Lord Gustavar, and it's also these... Yeah, it's, it's, it's one centuries. damage, and it, because he's large, it'll be AP2. Okay. One, two, three, four. Well, that's the biggest explosion I've seen. Yeah. So four on everybody. So it's so damage one, two, two, AP2? No, damage one, AP2. Okay. So I'll do... So you did four. I'll do mine first. Five up saves. He fails three of them. So he's down to 13 wounds. Okay, well, that's good. I'll roll for my sentries in the meantime. You said AP2? Yeah. So I need nines, which I only make one, so three sentries die. And then on Lord Gustavar. Uh, yeah, nothing special about that. So it was four, yeah. Does he have armored? Nope. He's like cloth. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so that was a... Uh, AP2. De defense five, so seven. Oh, he fails all of them. All four. So he's down to two wounds. Yeah. Wow, I think it's going to be a fast game. <laughs> Turns out the game plays really fast. I got it right here for you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And your Oathborn's dead, which is the guy that could have <laughs> transferred through my lines. Done a lot. Of, look at look at how much you've killed. This is all the dead file. You killed um, uh, flesh, flesh Seekers. Flesh Seekers. <laughs> all my Flesh Seekers. Uh-huh. 
Okay. Uh, it has to be you next. It has to be you next. Oh, I can take that one out, actually. Wait, wait, wait. Did you boost something? Yeah, that was a boost. He wouldn't have got to you otherwise. So it has to... Oh, right, because you pulled your own. Mandrix. All right. Lord Gusevar is going to go in and see what he can do to this Mastodon, even though, you know, he could probably attack something else. I don't want to. Just pure revenge. So here we go. Might as well go on the objective. And bring it. All right. Sword and claw. Three attacks. Reaping eight two. Eight plus two. So, uh, oh, yeah, that's that's a double action to do that. Uh, yeah, so I have two reaping. So that's one. That's five. I get five hits. Uh, damage three AP two. There's no change. There's no piercing or crushing or anything. It's just. It wouldn't be crushing. No. Nope. So how many? Uh, five. Five at. Who cares about the AP because it's not going to be more than three. It's only AP two. Okay, so five up. Oh, oh I failed two, three. Three and that's three damage each. Three damage each. Yeah. Who wrote those rules? <laughs> I go down to three wounds. Oh, do you? Yeah. We almost took him out. Yeah. Now he. I don't have to take a leadership test because he's um, boosted. Right. But he is now degraded. Which yeah. means his defense is now seven plus. Oh, sorry, he's a four plus defense. I don't know if I like so that. So his movement, accuracy, and defense. And defense are worsened by two. You know how I remember that? Because it's mad. It's the mm. acronym. Oh, he's, he's mad. mad now. Yeah. Yeah. You almost killed him. Yeah, that was sweet. If one more. Okay, wow. All right. Okay, cool. See, the game is not imbalanced. <laughs> yeah. Perfectly balanced. That's right, perfectly balanced. Oh, I left the objective. Oh, I got to put it down. <laughs> uh, boost for you. Okay. Uh, oh boy, what are you going to use that for? Let's Hold on, think about it. You got Vatra. I want to take this out. You got Vatra that you could unshake. And they no, get... you, won't, you can't use their boost, though. That's the problem. Yeah, they got some nice... But I can shoot into combat and uh, yeah. finish off the Mastodon. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> you yeah. might kill your own guy. That's fine. He only has two wounds left. I'd... I'm totally okay with it, and it's also fun to show off the mechanic. Okay. Okay. You want to move first? or Because you can get back on that objective? Actually, yes. I'll still hold it because I've got five tier three, but at least gets you more guys that can then. Those are dead guys. Are they? All right. Yeah. They were part of that squad that got blown up. Yeah, there's so many options here. You know what? It might not be a bad idea for these Valkyrie to actually go and charge. What do they get on the boost? They've already got fear. So on a the boost, they have shock assault. Their pistols gain stun. Oh, okay, shock assault won't matter as much because shock assault says if I am shaken, you get plus one. AP and accuracy, I think. But they still get extra attacks, which is the key, yeah? For what? When they charge in. Nobody gets... Oh, you get to shoot, you get your guns. Because they're pistols and they have assault. Yeah. Right? Uh, and they're all melee anyway. And they have two attacks each, and so that'd be 12. Now, you're being pretty impetuous, because remember, this guy's already activated. I know, but there's also the, there's the extra victory points for killing more, right? Of course, but you can kill him later in the round. Like you but need, I'm the, thinking the about killing him now. But the razor worm hasn't gone yet. I know, but he's going to destroy back here anyway. Maybe. I, uh, I know, that's the hard choice. I know, it's hard, you know, right? you know what, you do you. So, you know what, you're so far ahead in victory points. Uh, in my mind, it's like five to one. Uh, and I need to like move forward and get stuff over there. Yeah, because if you can, you need to nab objectives from oh, me. What about that one? Ooh, the wraith? Redeploy. <gasps> You're allowed to redeploy it. You know what? I think that may be good because you're going to finish them off and you'll have nothing to do with them. Like That'll be frustrating. Oh, they can come over here and take some pot shots. Actually, I could redeploy that, go over there in the bushes, be... And then walk up onto the objective. It would force me to bring guys back. Yeah, that's probably not... But it wouldn't be hard to kill them with those guys that come back. It seems a little boring, but it's a little bit of a minutiae it, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. You can boost him. Yeah. Boost. So he's going to redeploy over here and then just get barely on the objective. Is that the idea? Draw me back. So you come out out of eight and then do whatever move is necessary. Yes. Now here's a question. If I'm in inside this whole cluster. So, okay. So let me move this tree because it was all supposed to be one clump. Okay. So you could go right there and now I have to go around it to get to you. So I'm even further away from you. Okay. So, so now it'll really draw me back. Okay. I think that's actually... And I can't see you. You can't see me. So right. that's a good... I think that's actually it. Okay. Where's the boost? You put it on them. Ah. So put the shaken back on them. Yeah. Okay. So it's got to be me next. Support. Uh, <clears throat> that would be the Aegidon. That's my only choice. 
charge, obviously. 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 Charge into your... Are they Banshees or Wraith? I don't know which ones are which. They both sound scary close combat, so... Those ones are the Banshees. Got it. So that's Crushing Impact. So he gets... The crushing Impact is Impact, but I get an extra hit for every two guys. So, but I don't know what the AP and damage is. So you're going to take... Two hits. I think it's uh, AP two, damage one. That sounds like it's right. You're right. Yeah, because it's not as powerful as a heavy impact, but it's it gets more. Guys. And it's good for infantry, which is exactly what you're doing. Okay, so two AP two hits. Okay, so seven defense, and I make one. So that kills one guy, because he's already down a wound. And then I just get my regular attacks, which are four attacks hitting on fives, but they're reaping on an eight plus and piercing. And they're two damage each. So, okay, so we got, whoop, that was an eight. Two, four. So I got, no, these are just misses. So we got four AP3 hits. Okay, so eight plus. Oh, I wipe them. Yeah. Made none. Yeah. Over there, is... there you go. He ate the squad. Wow, wow. Here, why don't you put that next to them so we don't put it back in? Buried with their token, okay. And then your support. Ah, oh, he's dead. Good for a sec. <laughs> That's like I'm actually sad. I wanted to see the Oathborn in, in, in action, but we'll have plenty more games. Boost for you. Ooh, good, good, good. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Back to this point. I really want to do something here. Uh, they're only one shot each. I I considered making them two shots each, but when they're a full squad of them, that means you have eight armor pier um, anti armor shots on just a regular elite squad. Mm -hmm. But they are a little underwhelming. I'm finding people have mentioned that online, and so I'm, I'm starting to agree. The the Batra back here. Yeah, I, I'm thinking of making them two attacks each. They have not gone yet. A. Eh? No, I still have these three units to go. You outnumber me, huh? Yeah, I'm five to your... Th Commanders count as three for holding objectives. So you're still outnumbering by two? Yeah. Okay, so and they need, they can go in and they count as how many each? Just one. Just one each? Yeah. And they're one each. That's why they're good at holding objectives. But they can just go up and... Ooh, so if I go back here... Yeah, if they run into the objective, it's yours. Now, I haven't gone yet with the Razor Worm, so mm -hmm. keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's better that you actually go... But they, they all fire, don't they? Uh, these ones, these are like a flamethrower, and these ones are more like a stunning shot. It's like a sonic whoa, 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 cool. whoa, kind of thing. Very cool. That's how it looks, actually. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's what it is. The <laughs> idea. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> this has a thing sticking out that, that shoots, definitely. Well, let's go with the Lord here. Okay, so the Lord, this is a swift reaper sword gains piercing, A plus three. So I'll do that. Uh, he's got fly, so he can ignore all this terrain and go wherever the crap he wants. I'm not sure if you want to go deep. Oh, hold on. So just keep. How many going. wounds on your blade fairies? There, I think they're two wounds each. Three, yeah. wound, three wounds each. Oh, three hundred. Yeah, it's a squad of four. Dang. That's like the exact. Do you have you have two damage. I have two damage. Yeah, so it's like one of those. And then there's this. You know what? I should do this because then I'll take it from you and I'll get a point. Uh, no, no, because it's it, it's you owned it at the beginning of the round. Did I? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. You had the two middle ones. Yeah, but it's already activated. But did I own it? Because I'm shaken. Yeah, he owned it. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, you now own it. Uh, no, because they're you're, shaken. Yeah, but he counts as three as well. Currently, so nobody owns it. It's uh, currently being contested. And how many wounds? He's he's minorly chonky. Eight wounds, five of defense, armored one. Yeah. Okay, I'll go here. He's a large target, so I will go here. See if you get lucky and yeah. knock him out. And I'll do this. You could still you remember you can still hurt him and stun him, and then he's not on the objective at all. Why don't you charge these on the objective? Yeah. Because now that does put you in the. I know it's like the blade range of the blade furies. That's the one consideration, right? So that's up to you. You put him in front range of the blade furies that have not yet gone. You know what? No, no. I'm going with my gut. I'm going to attack the Blade Furies. Yeah, if you can Alpha Strike them, even if you just kill, like, two of them. Yep. Because I have the Assault, plus I have the Reaper Sword, right? Yeah. So three attacks with the Assault. Does, he doesn't have any... Does he have any impact? Nope. Okay. No. 
Okay, so it's a four plus on the assault. So two. Anything special? AP one, damage two. AP one? That's it. Oh, interesting. Your deck. Reclamation here. pistol. AP one, um, damage two. So six up. Yeah. Both get through. That kills one. Nice. And it doesn't so spill over. I'll kill this one just to demonstrate what happens when you're no longer in combat. So it says after using an assault weapon, if you're not in base, you move the shortest distance possible to get to the next one. Okay. And then make your close combat attack. And then I have four attacks here. This is reaping eight plus two, and I hit on fours. So I get one, so that's an additional. Is it anything else other than reaping? No. Okay. Yep. So it's five hits in total. AP? AP one. And damage two? Damage two. Six up. Uh, this one's cocked. I fell two, so you kill one more. Okay, well that's... I'll kill this one to keep you off the objective as much as I can. Not that it matters, because I'll hold it. Um, and do you have stun on the weapons? I don't think you do, but... Nope. Okay. All right, so you pop forward and kill two. And... Hold on, I boosted, yes? Yeah. Did you not give yourself something? Reaper Sword gains a piercing eight, three, but I don't think I got any eight pluses. Did you did. I? Did I? Yeah. So it's eight, three then, so I get extra hits then. So it was one extra hit then. Because I think I Hold only on, got... did you get any eights? You know what, let's just throw an extra one. I can't remember. I don't know. I feel like you did. There... But I, I think you rolled and you told me how many you hit. I don't think I ever looked at the numbers. I think there was one. One? Okay. Yeah. I made the save. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it has to be me next, because that was a boost. Yep. Uh, support, what a surprise. I'm all done with my support, so I'll put it to the side. Oh, and I'm not. Razor worm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> what was I thinking? Chris going to charge. Yeah, just finish off the Batra. Boom. That's the idea. This is Ryan's favorite unit, by the way. Well, yeah, well, look at the stupid thing. <laughs> Heavy impact three. Give me two, or three AP two hits. Okay. How much skill? So seven. They're dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whoop. Wow. This is a... Uh... We're playtesting game length here, right? Yep. And not the strength of the detachments versus... Oh, no, 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 that too. that too. Oh, that too. Okay. All right. Okay. And now it's your core. You got four uh, cores still to activate. Uh... Pretty much, I think all you have left is core. Ooh. So and, and a boost. How many does this count as? Five. Excellent. So I'm going to go... Doo -doo 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 -doo. And that'll retake an objective. And take it away from you. Gosh. Yeah. So leader. So then I'll just run. So I get my extra distance. I'll stay outside of engagement. Yep. All right. Done. And boom. You yeah. don't have to, it doesn't matter where those go, because as long as your unit leader's there, they all count as being there. Yep. All right. Then we got... Actually, elite. that was just a regular. That wasn't a boost, right? Correct. Okay. All right. So one of these two guys finally drew my elites. Or this guy. So Blade Furies? Or you know, I want to see what the Blade Furies do. So we're just going to focus an attack. Because depending on how they do, it might change other things it'll do. So they got three attacks each. Hitting on threes, now that I boosted. And nines are piercing. Talk. So we got four hits, nothing special. No AP. No AP, five up defense. So I save three. So one goes through. How much do you? Two damage. So Six, I'm down, six to, or eight. down to four wounds. Okay, I got one right here for you. Okay, that's it. And then I do my consolidate. Unimpressive. My other support, which now I have gone with all of them because I boosted it. And an elite. That would be... Death. No, this. No, that's your leader. Is that your leader? No, that's, that would be that's that just one. a No, that's a core. That's a Valkyr. That's a core. You're at least dead. All right, throw it over there then. Yeah, Batra. Horde dead elite. Elite. So it'd be one of these two. Okay, well, I'll take the bait. I'm going to come in after your, your leader. So I'm going to charge. You going here? Oh, wait, I'm not in, I might not be in charge range. I'm not, because they only have a four inch movement now that they're leaderless. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay. well, then I guess I'll move. Yes, that's true. Well, they wouldn't be as far forward if they weren't leaderless. Yeah. So that's why it, it adds up to the same. Yeah, that's right. So they're just going to go here. I'll move the other one like this, and they'll be on the objective too. Interesting. Okay, they can still function that, that way. Uh, and then I'll fire their sonic blasters at the Valkyr. 
Probably. So if I can stun them, they can't help with the objective. But I gotta find them first. It's so much nicer once we have cards. There we are. Okay, uh, Disruption Pulse. They're one shot each, and that's it. They hit on fours, one damage, but they have stun. And I'm fear six. So you are in fear range. Okay. Okay, so just hit on fours. One hits, no AP. Okay, five up. Defense. I kill one. That one there. No, no, sorry. One wound on one of them. They're two wounds each. Yep. But you owe me a leadership test at minus two. So eight plus. Nope. No, nope. so they're shaking two. Already got one. Yeah. And one of them's wounded. Do you have a, do you have a D6? No, that was theirs. Yeah, I got one over here. Failing all my leaderships, man. I noticed. Okay. Boost. Okay. What's actually left? Um, I got the. Well, you can now you can unshake some guys on an objective. You know right? what? Um, I think it. Yeah, that's true. It's already. And then I would be winning here. Yes. Yes. Right now I hold that objective, which means I'll take it from you and get two points. Yeah, I should probably do that. Even though I want to do that over there. Well, they're, they're both good. And remember, you get a chance to unshake no matter what. It's just these guys are actually have a harder time unshaking because they're within the fear aura. This, these ones are not. You hold this, yes? Yes, I have five, six, seven models on it, and you've got three. And you took it away from me, correct? Yes. So, so this will, is actually... I'm going to get four points right now if you don't do something about it. So it doesn't matter, actually. I think it does. I would do them. That's what I want because to do they're, anyway. Because they're feared right now. Yeah, so I'm going to use a bow to get rid of their shaken. Okay. Bo boost, and so it's just normal now. Normal activation for them. Keep the boost over there. So I just... You want to charge in and try to hurt some of the... You could try to finish off the Macedon. Yes, that's what I want to do. That would be awesome. Yeah, okay. So And yeah. you've got a fear aura with them. Does he have inspiring? Can you check that for me really quick? Because I just realized that you did. You may have actually passed that leadership test. Special rules, it would be under there. Yeah. And no. Okay. Because you're actually one better leadership. So you only, you only failed by one. And if he had inspiring, that means he would have passed. Um, so yeah, let's multi-charge him just so we can get things in. And then I can choose, yeah? You can choose. Yeah, and it keeps me from because these ones have assault on their weapons, so it keeps me from charging and getting the, the all that extra stuff. And they have impact as well. And anything so you're, you're can taking attack. away impact, you're taking away all that fun stuff. Anything can. Yep, as you're whatever you're whatever they're engaged with, anybody can attack. All six then into the Macedon just to for Bring redundancies. It. Bring it. Bring it. Uh, they do have pistols, so, so you can assault, assault first. Okay, so that's six assault attacks with the pistols hitting on sixes here. Anything special? Uh, only getting two. Nope. Nope. AP? Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. Five up. Yep. Uh, fails one. Okay. So he's got two wounds left. All right. And there's six in there? Yeah, so 12 attacks. Oh, no. I have a way worse save. Because you are... I, but I passed the other one. I'm, yeah, I'm your a, defense I'm, is down I'm by two. Six, I'm a six up save now instead of four up. Okay. And so 12 attacks with the rest is probably overkill. But that's fine. Uh, ah, we'll see, I guess. I have 50-50. I have six up attacks. Unless you have AP on your close combat. I do AP one. That doesn't matter. I'm armored. So accuracy five plus, and it's reaping nine plus two. Okay. Okay. So there we go. So it's one, two, oh, three, four. Why don't uh, you just count them by two instead? So count so your number. Two, four. So that's eight. Okay. So we got eight of those, and then I'm hitting on fives. Yeah. Yeah. So eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Twelve, thirteen. Yeah. He didn't. You didn't count it. I told him. 13 hits. I think he got them. Because these are six up saves because he's degraded. So I'm nine plus four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. AP I've one. only got two wounds left. Six up saves. There should be no way I get this. Yeah, I did not. Okay. I do have, he does explode. Though, oh, jeez. Because he goes in. It's not, oh, no. His flavor is not, he's not exploding. He just goes into a rage and kills everything around him as he dies. Um, and he's got 15 wounds. Oh, no. You're going to take out Lord Gustavar. I know you are. That's the plan. So in any ones and no, no, it's nine. Nines and two. ten. Nines and ten. He's huge. So these are AP two damage two, for the explosion. Oh geez. Okay. <laughs> but that's up. for you too, though. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's gonna hit me too. Okay. This is good. This is good. So all this. Here, we, here we go. Here we go. One. Oh no. Two. two. Only two. Yeah, only two. I'll do mine first. Okay. So AP two on them will be a seven. They fail, so that kills one of them. Nice. Takes. Yeah, it takes one more off the objective. Okay. 
and doesn't hurt the next one, so I don't have to do a stunning check. But you did kill the rage there. So, so two of them on your your choice. Which all right, so Valkyr, so it's my two, yeah. So yeah. seven up. Defense made one, one. One dies. So the one with one wound dies. Okay, but does it kill Lord Gustavar? All right, here it is. Come on, Gustavar. It'll be seven plus. Yeah, Why are you seven rolling plus. Six. I don't know. That gives you a huge disadvantage. So there's that. And oh, we got him. Yeah, he did. Because he was only two wounds left. Then. Yeah. But hey, you regained the objective. That was the goal which we met. Yeah, Lord Gustavar. And Lord Gustavar brought him down to three wounds. He did. He did nine damage. That's like, true. Silent, like, just by himself. That's true. So that was... That was... Nutsoid. Needed. Okay. Um, that was a boost, so I go next. Yeah. I only have the support left. Do I have another boost? Yeah, I have a boost still, so I have to, I have to draw one at a time until I see if I get the boost or the support. Or the elite, sorry. It's lots of yours still. Uh, elite. And then I can just take out my other boost. Yeah. I pulled all of your tokens. Uh, you know what? Oh, never mind. That's fine. So they're going to activate. All right, Valkyrs. Oh. So after you finish that combat, because you were in combat with them at the beginning, you have to then move your unit leader and then wrap them. Okay. That's important. Because I was about to flamethrower you, but now I can hit my own guy. And so the the question is, do I still want to do that? You have to you have to wrap him. Oh, get okay, as close That's as possible. That's important because it puts you in my short range. Um, See, so wrapping means you have to put him in base contact. You have, yeah, the shortest possible distance. You know, you move your unit leader the shortest possible distance to get in base, and then you just pick up the rest of the guys and place them as if they made a charge. Okay. Which means they have to be placed in base contact and coherency, or as close as possible to base contact. So I'm going to shoot into combat. If I toast my own guy, so be it. So be it. I right. love the shoot into combat mechanic. I do too. I'm going to I'm going to focus first. Just uh, so I go from six to five because I already account for the minus. And you're obviously in my short range. So one shot each at your Valkyries will get two shots extra each. So six shots. Hitting on fives, ones and twos, hit my own guys. And nine plus straight up murders a Valkyr because it's reaping two poison. Yeah, poison gets rid of defense. Yeah. 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 Otherwise, they're just damaged one AP, nothing. So fives, ones and twos hurt me. Nines are really bad for you. Well, we oh. got two Valkyrs are straight up dead. Okay. I hit myself once and then I hit you twice. Okay. So I'll just roll for the two and you said regular defense? Yeah. So no. five ups. So one wound on one of them. Wow. And then... They're boosted, I, so they're good. Yeah, they're not going to have to take a test. And then one on me, which I pass. Wow. Oh, that was worth it. <laughs> oh, hold on. Is this now just... Are they worth... Is that worth three for uh, holding objectives? No, he's just one. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're still good then. <laughs> yeah, that's yours. Core. Okay. So let's go over here. Uh, let's do Lady Maxima. Actually, it's only you now, so it's just core. Oh, no. yeah, because Lady Maxima is just... And then I'll do a leadership, see if I'm no longer shaken, and I get a three, I'm still shaken. Oh, that's too bad. So one action to close combat attack. Might as well one do of, that. Yeah, you only have one action, so... Yeah. You can't uh, get out of there even if you wanted to. Uh, two attacks, so hitting on uh, fives. That's one hit. That's it. One damage, AP one. Saved. Okay. And then these guys. Yeah, let's see if they're... You no really need them to... They're Maybe here. I think they pass. Yeah, they do because leadership six plus. Okay, so they're holding the objective. Oh. That's you got both of them back. Wow, you got both of them back. Yeah, and you took that one back from me. This one back. So you here. might actually swing the points a little bit. It's possible. Except that I killed more than you, so I'll get those two points. Did you kill more? Oh yeah. <laughs> did you? I'm here. I'm looking at the dead pile. You, you killed. Did, you hmm. killed two units this did turn. You? Yeah, I, I killed at least that many. Okay, so these right there. Um, Just focus attack. Yeah, let's. Do You're not that. killing them, so you may as well focus. Yep. So how many got their six and their one attack each? Yeah. No, they should have something for close. Yeah, combat. reaping nine plus two and piercing nine plus two. The piercing might matter. I might be armored one or I might be armored two. But the reaping will be good either way. Yep, yep. Just go ahead and roll. I'll so I'm roll. gonna focus them, they hit on fours. Yeah, I'm only armored one. And it mattered. Yeah. Okay. And then I got reaping, so that counts as two. So boop. So it looks like we have a total of six hits. But two of them are AP what? Because it's piercing, right? 
Two of them are AP two. Yeah. The other one's AP nothing. Correct. So four at AP nothing. Yep. And one, the other two at AP one, because I'm armored one. Oh, okay. So six up. One goes through. And five up. No, oh. three go through. <laughs> you almost degraded him. He's down to four out of eight wounds. Oh, wow. Actually, no, he doesn't degrade. You know what? By cultists, you by the fanatics, I mean, I'm happy with that, right? Yeah. Oh. What's up? What's up? What is he? Oh, he just gives them better movement. Plus two movement. Device Lord. Yeah. Yeah. No, she, she was close enough to boost them or buff them, but she, she gives them more movement. She gives the shooting ones better shooting. It gives them skirmisher, sorry. So it's all about movement. Yeah. Okay. Um, that wasn't the boost. Oh, it doesn't matter. That's it. That's everything. It for the round? Okay. So maybe an easy way to do this before we pick up the tokens is look at everybody who's boosted and put the token that they have next to them to make sure we don't miss anybody. So your commander. Didn't you have another boost token? Oh, know. they died afterwards. Oh, did they? Yeah. 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 Okay, so you're good there. And then which ones? Did I not boost anything? Oh, I should have had an extra boost token, yeah. You did. And that you used it, and then that thing died. Ah. And so there uh, definitely was another one. Oh, there's a boost right here. That's what it is. Yes. There's the elite. Well, so well hidden in the trees. Yep. I even forgot yeah, about oh, it. I, for <gasps> I yeah. forgot about it. <laughs> I should have gone over there. It worked. It worked. Oh my goodness. That's four points. No, yes. three points. One for taking it, and two for uh, it's in my deployment zone. That's right. I, I honestly, that was not me being like, you know what? I'll give, I'll throw Dave a bone. I, I literally forgot about him because you hit him in the trees. <laughs> Here, years ago, I still remember this. There's years ago, I played a game of War Machine, mm -hmm. and I was playing Kador, and I had this like this like muscly dude. I can't remember his name, but he's got like a stealth. And I had put him in woods. Behemoth. Yeah. No, he doesn't have stealth. No, no. This is a little, oh, like, a little. He had like stealth and yeah. stuff. So he's like, all, he's supposed to be a sneaky like woodsman. Yeah. And at the end of the game, I looked down. I'm like, oh, I had forgotten about him the whole time. Oh. He was in the woods. <laughs> just like, <laughs> he served his purpose. He was so stealthy. Nobody remembered him. Okay. So we can just pick up all these tokens. Wow. That's, that's genius. I love that. Okay. So. Okay. I still think I killed more than you. Because you killed two units, right? You killed my... Flesh Seekers and, and my Mastodon. A... Now, is it that I killed or that died on your side? Because if something dies from explosion, does it yeah, count that as meat? Counts. Okay. It counts? Okay. The only thing that don't count is the, I think the Grudge Mites and the Armored Grudge Mites, too. They don't count towards because they blow up kill when they blow themselves If they blow themselves up. If you right. kill them, obviously. they. Yeah. So let's count up then. So did I kill at least three things? So I got your Oathborn. Yep. This unit's still alive. I killed this unit right here. Yep. And your leader died. And that's what you were asking, if the explosive counts, and that, the answer is yes. Okay, so you kill three. So I get two points for that, so that brings me up to seven. So I'm Mastodon, and then... That doesn't count for models, it's units. Mastodon, Flesh Seekers... And that's it. And I think that's it. Yeah, yeah. everything else is still alive. Yeah. It's just like, things are hurt. Not fully taken out. Okay, so that's two points for me. Now you control at least one objective. Mm -hmm. You control... You control more than me, so that's two points. Yes. So you're up to three. You took one, two from me. Did I take so, this one? Yep, because I held it. I, my razor room took it from you last turn. That's right. So that's one point for each of those. That's five. Uh huh. Wow. And you're holding my backline objective, which is, which two. is worth two. Wow, we tied it up? I haven't taken my points yet for objectives. Oh, you haven't? Okay. Right. I have one objective, so I get one point. So I'm up by one. Wow. So the score went from five to one to eight to seven. Wow. And the only reason I'm still winning is because I killed more of you. That's right. Wow, that's insane. I like it. Okay. So cool. what are we at? An hour and 23? Yeah, you know what? This is good, because the game's not going to take that much longer. Yeah, we've killed a lot. Over Wait, half the army. all these? i got to recheck my tokens, because <laughs> I see some more over here. It's funny, because I think we forget, because uh, every time we're playing, we're filming, right? Oh, filming adds, it almost doubles the time of any game. Easily. And so you get tired by the end, you're like, wow, that game took forever. But it's really, no, it's the filming took forever. Okay, so I've got... Oh, dang it. You really... That Mastodon being gone is... Yeah. Makes me not look nearly as good. I got one, two, three <laughs> supports. Okay, good. So that support's gone. The core is gone. Um, I got one, two, three elites. And my commander. Okay, so I just didn't put my boost in. And you still get your extra boost because I'm one point ahead. <laughs> that's like where you want to be at in turn two. Yeah. One point behind. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Get that extra boost. Oh, I can't believe it. I forgot that guy. <laughs> I would have easily killed him. Well, maybe. No, you know what? I wouldn't have been able to kill him because they only move four. Mm. But maybe I would have been able to move four and then hopscotch the other one over here. Yeah, then I'd be able to see him. 
Yeah. And so I was flint, but it's only one guy, so it's only been two shots. Yeah, it still would have been a gamble, right? And, and it was only killing them because of the nines. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is great. It's one more objective for me to take back. Yeah. I guess I could have just run on the objective and taken it back. There's, there's that. Good. Yeah, there's that. But I wouldn't have taken it back. I would have just held it. Yeah. Cool. This is cool. I'm liking it. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready, ready. Maybe you can get a boost right away. Nope. I'm going to eat Yeah. <laughs> so that's Razor Worm or the Agedon. The Agedon has nothing to do. So the Razor Worm is obviously going to start to eat up your cultist back here. Yeah. Your Dominaren. Just going to charge. So give me three AP2 hits from the Heavy Impact. AP2, so whoop. They need nines, and they make none. So three so die. Three of them die. And then just uh, Monstrous Mandibles. Oh, I should have just shot at them. You've got a much better acid spray. I got five attacks, actually. Hitting on threes. Reaping seven plus. Okay. They might think earlier in the game I said he's not nearly as impressive as the ambassador in the other one. He's more like anti infantry. So this redeploys, right? He can. So it's only like only as a boost. Uh as a boost. As only as a boost. Yeah. Pretty much everything that can fly or burrow can redeploy as a boost. Okay. Now he's got a special one that when he redeploys, he can choose to make it a double action and right up into guys. Or he can just do the single action one and still spray his acid spray. Actually no he can't because it's short range only. Mm. Anyway, five attacks, hitting on threes, sevens are good. Go. Oh, miss. No sevens? No sevens. So eight, three at AP1, or four at AP1, sorry. Okay, so eight plus defense, and we get one, so three go through. One left. Yeah, it's just my leader. Give me a leadership test, because he just went below half, and it's at minus two, yeah. Okay, so eight plus. Nope. Shaken. So they're shaken. We knew that I was grabbing that objective. Yeah, but you would hold it anyway, because you have a lot more. Yeah. Okay. Count as a lot more. And core for you. So you've got a few choices there. You've got Valkyr stuck in combat with the Rage Terror. you got um, Dominaren, who could deplete and possibly shake. You know what? They actually did a significant amount last time. Yeah, they're the ones that tore off all those wounds. Uh, yeah, let's do it again. The Dominaren Fanatics, they're not... The thing is, everything can do something. Like, there's there's nothing... Your Dominarens, obviously, they're going to be the weakest thing, because there's lots of them. It's like my Flesh Seekers. What do you yeah. got? You all right, focus so... First? I might as well. So hitting on fours. And what are you looking for? Good. I got a... um, I'm looking for nine pluses, and I got two, because that's reaping two and piercing two. So you got four piercing two and three regulars. Yeah. So the piercing two becomes one because of my armored. So four at six up and three at five up. Yep. Here we go. Six up. One, two, three. He's got one wound left. Oh. And five up on the other three. It would be big if you killed him right now, because he hasn't gone yet. Anytime yeah. you kill something that hasn't gone yet, that's a huge win. Yes, that's true. You got him! <laughs> does he explode? No, he does no. not. No explosions. Yeah, you got him. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Sweet. That's a big deal. And because... that's killing a unit too, right? Yeah, that'll help contribute towards that. Yeah, Yeah, because I killed more than you last time. Now, I know that leaves more of me still, but maybe you can eke out that. That was not a boost, right? No, just regular. Okay, well, here's a boost for you. Ooh. Oh, are you going to swing this? Mm. Can you swing it? What are you going to boost? Uh, you know, it's interesting because... You don't have a lot left on the table. I don't have a lot. However... You're not killing me, that's for sure. However, what I could do is... Now, here's a question. Back there... Here, let's just uh, give a little... Uh, that, that wraith is back there currently holding the objective. Now, if I leave the objective, do you count as taking it away from me if I'm not on it? It, it says that if I... Hold an objective that you held at the beginning of the round. Okay. So it, it would so, still yes. count. So these ones are all at risk for you. Now. Uh, you want to chop up those Blade Furies. It's tough because I still have lots on the table. You're you're losing in terms of guys dying. And that Razor Worm is barely hurt. So Yeah, yeah. Like it's probably my game. It probably is. So I think I'll just do that. What does she get as a boost? So as a boost... Is it she, right? Yeah. It's yeah. Swift, it's swift. Reaping sword gains piercing 8 plus 3. There's that. Uh, What's the other option? Redeploy? Inspiring and battle synergy. Oh, that No one. redeploy. Turning on a plus 1 for everybody, but she's not with them anymore. But she does have 4 attacks, and it's piercing 8 plus 3. So... Might as well try. Yeah, because what are my other options? Do something here? Maybe. Before I hit you? That's the thing, right? Ooh. I've got six wounds on that, though. You're probably not killing it. But if you do at least one wound, that brings me below half. And you're degraded? No, but it does force a leadership check. And they, have, and they have fear with the banner. You know what? Let's do that instead. Okay, so what do they gain with the boost? 
First off, I got to point out that you don't have to do a leadership check because we have to remember that if you're below half when you start, then you have to do a leadership check. Right yes, that. that's one that I don't often. Remember. Yeah, I, for, I forget that often too. So Valkyrs will attack your Rage Terror. Uh, they are boosting, and they will use the Reaping A plus two and AP two. The Swords and Glaives gain those. Reaping A plus two and Piercing two. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's how many? And you want to focus, obviously. Yeah. So there's. Two attacks each. I'll focus, so I'm hitting on fours. And then eights are good? Uh, yeah. Oh, so, golly. So one, two, three, four. So that's eight at what AP? Eight at AP two. I think, I think you're going to get them. And damage one. Yeah, they're just damage one, of course. Yeah. Well, I am armored one. And then one at, uh, at AP regular, one. Which I'll ignore. Okay. So eight of them at a seven up save. One, two, three, four. I got two wounds left. So you're not killing them. And then six up save. Made it. So I have to do a leadership check at minus two. Because you've got your banner, which is fear. Yep. Uh, so leadership becomes seven up. Pass. Yeah, that's a nine. So you're yeah, good. You're still holding the objective. I will have to make that test again, though, when I activate. If, make sure you remind me of that. If anything, they're boosted. Therefore, they can't be shaken. So they're still holding the objective. So they're a thorn in your middle. Yeah. Okay. Me next. It has to be me next. Yeah. Support, that would be the agent on. Well, he's way out of position, so we're just going to run nine inches back this way. Okay. Core. Nice. So that would be your Dominarians or Dominarin. Oh, you already gone with them. Sorry, so it's just yours. No, there's the... Um... Oh, sorry, I forget that that's not a character. Your Valkyr, sure. or your, it doesn't really matter. I'll go with the Valkyr. Let's okay, see. Leadership test. See if there's, yeah, still shaking. Still shaking, so Hold one on. action. Move, done, boom. There's nothing else. Yeah, not really. Yeah. Okay. Actually, can I shoot? No. Well, yeah, as one action. But what are you going to shoot, though? I can't I shoot. No, you got a pistol, so it's too short range. Yeah. yeah. Okay, my boost. My boost. Oh, you're already. Immune. Hmm. You know what? Let's have some fun with these guys. Give, give them three actions. Oh, so I'm, yeah. I'm going to not focus, and that way I can kill him and then charge if I'm in range to charge. Oh, beautiful. I am. So if I manage to kill your Vice Lord, then my other two actions will be charge Yeah. to go after your, um, your hurt Valkyr. It's a weird interaction, because normally you can't do that okay so three attacks each we got six attacks hitting on fours piercing nine plus miss 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 so we got one at ap nothing and two at ap three okay two at ap three a plus made them both oh one at ap nothing this, okay this I'm... one will go through it's five plus defense oh save yeah and so i those two other actions are wasted oh that's a big deal yeah you know what i'm gonna focus Oh, no, I could disengage. No, but you're, you haven't gone yet, so that would just let you go somewhere else. You're going to focus after the fact? Yeah. <laughs> There's well, nothing saying I can't. It doesn't do anything. But. That's true. Yeah, Dang. so I could. It's a, that's an interesting one. Hit and then disengage. That's also an option. I don't want to in this case, but that could actually be big. Like, if you had already gone, I yeah. could be like punch and then like step onto an objective. Yeah. So, but I'm just, I, I wasted the boost. Dang. It's you next. I spiked the dice. Hey, yeah. that's the game. Dice are still part of it. Has to be me. Has to be you. Yeah. That's that core. core. Right. So that went, so it has to be this back here. Yeah, so leadership test at minus two. All right. Oh, you passed it. Wow. So you could disengage. Get out of there. Not. I don't know if you want to. It's kind of... Is it, uh, you know what? I will attack you because I might as well. There's nothing else to do. Yeah, you kind of want to keep me held up because, like, I could... No, mind you, I'm huge, so I could charge out of there. We haven't yeah. really been doing bulldoze at all. I am not engaged in combat, or I am. You are. Yeah, and you already went. So I might as well just stay here and attack you back, I think. That's, that's the best thing. Yeah, you got like one attack. I have one attack, literally. Do you want to focus, or do you want to sure. kill me? Sure, I will focus. <laughs> uh, scrap guns, gain reaping. Can I, I pass I, my save. And I can't shoot at you, right? No, and I just pass my save. <laughs> so don't roll your die. Okay, done. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'll save us some time. 
Because the most you can do is one hit that does nothing. Yeah. So there we go. Okay. Um, we gotta put this one back in. <laughs> Elite for you. Did I not just? No, I didn't boost. Oh, you got this dude. I'm like, you don't have any elite. <laughs> I forgot he's still there. I forgot again too. Oh boy. Uh, I don't know what you're gonna do with that one. Yeah, wraith. I did I boost or no? Nope. Just regular. You got a, you got you can fly though, so you're able to charge out. But then you would you wouldn't be able to stay on the objective and charge. You know what? Why don't we do this? Let's attack this. But then you're leaving that objective. Yeah, but you're gonna probably take it back anyway. That's true, right? So in fact, you know what? Yeah, let's then Because then when I take it back, I don't get to kill him. Right. So just charge? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I'm going to have to dedicate my flame terrors to just stepping back. And you're going to get it anyway. Yeah. I won't be able to shoot you, but... So, the, but if I take that out, that's more points for taking out units. You know what? And you want to try to get on the objective, so I don't... You can bring it up your way. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it's two attacks. Oh, good. This is reaping A plus three. Piercing A plus three and stun for this, so that's two yeah, attacks. Yeah, these guys are supposed to, and I think he has. Does he have fear as well? Uh, yeah, fear. Yeah. So the fear plus the banner, do they stack? Uh, no, they both have fear. Okay, so it's just so. All right. So that's five plus then. Got both. Nothing AP. else activated. Just two regular, one damage, no AP. Okay, so I got to fail both of these. But you hit me at least once, so that'll be a leadership test. Mm -hmm. uh, I made six up save. Ah, made both. Leadership at minus two. It's a pass. You passed, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, he got over there. He's like, yeah, I got the back objective, guys, and now I'm out of here. Uh, boost! Oh, <sighs> interesting. There is also the, because the strategy of, like, if I stay there, you, you have to go there. Because if not, then I get two points. There's that, right? There is that. But now it's like, huh. It's interesting. Because you would probably, he probably. But if I die. take it, I get a, an extra point for retaking an objective. You're gonna get that either way, right? Yeah, yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. yeah, you didn't have much that you could really do. I don't think it actually makes a difference when I see. So I'm boosting my mind shackler. To mind shackler. So I can get within 12 inches. Okay, and then we're gonna because do... you have volley fire. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna come over here. No line of sight required. So it's free reign on what you can fire at. Oh, and your Nova. Yeah, so I'm hitting. So it won't matter for this unit. I'll still shoot them because it might hurt them. Um, but it's going to be, it's going to be a, a leadership at minus two. So once again with Nova and your Nova, twelve inches units within twelve inches, you auto hit because you have vol volley fire. Is that yeah. right? So I'm going to do two things because I gain multi fire, but one has to be the mind pulse. So the mind pulse will just hit. Oh, and I got this one right here too. Um, Yes, I won't. I don't. I won't do the mind pulse attempt. I'll do mind pulse, mind pulse, mind pulse, mind pulse, mm -hmm. um, and then I'll do mind blast into the Valkyries. So if this works really well, it's pretty much game. Yeah, um, which is cool because he did nothing really the whole game. Yeah, he kind of stood back and maybe pe peppered up a few things. So let's do the mind blast first. So it's three shots plus one against them, shooting into combat and at. Medium range. So we're looking at sixes to hit and ones and twos hit my own guy. I only hit you once, didn't hit me at all. Now, which one is this that you're hitting? Shooting at the Valkyrie. Valkyrie, okay. AP one. AP one. One so hit. Six up, made it. You're fine. It would be stunned, but they're immune to that right now because they're boosted. So mine pulse, it's just going to be one shot at each of them hitting on threes. It's volley fire, so the ones that I can't see will be hitting on fours. Okay. Um, yeah. So. Three, nope, three, yep, four on the Valkyr, yep, and four on the Dominarians, yep, so oh, not him. So that's an AP2 hit on each of them at, at two damage. Okay, AP2, yep, and how many hits? Just one. Okay, so seven, which oh, we failed. Kills one of them, and then your Valkyr, fine. Oh, sorry, that would have been nine on the, and now it's seven. Uh, so I saved that one, so the you're good. Maximus good. You got your leader. No, I missed that one. Yeah. And then you got your um, banshee over there. What about them? No, I didn't shoot them. Oh, okay. You have three Nova, Nova three. Four. I went one, two, three, four. I missed this. I missed. Oh, got gotcha. you. Okay, so the the wraith. He's dead. Okay. Three damage. His brain popped. 
And then you owe me a leadership test from them at minus two. Stunned? Yeah. Minus two. So they're shaken. And you no longer hold that objective. Ah! Ah! Oh, there we go. You have one too. Okay. And that was good. That, that made a big difference then. Yep. Yeah. Like, I think I was going to win either way, but we got to see that ability. Okay. Uh, elite. So that would be them. Yeah, I have um, a little left on the table. No, yeah, you're, we'll probably be done after this round. This is round three, so it's not horrible. It, most games are done in turn by turn three. I don't mean a ravish start. I mean, like, just in, in general. And yeah. then I'll fire into combat if I kill my own guy. So what? <laughs> if I lose a game because of that, I'm okay with that. Okay, so the flame terrors have one shot each. And then they're blast, so that's one more each. So we've got four shots. Six is to hit because they're in combat. And uh, nines to straight up kill a Valkyr because they're poison and reaping. And ones and twos hit my own guy. I hit my own guy twice, and I straight up kill a Valkyr. Okay. So the injured one. Oh, that's the leader. Right? That's the leader. That's the leader. Never mind. I don't care then. And then two of them on my own guy. AP nothing. So six up saves. I got to fail both of these. I failed one. <laughs> oh, just imagine. But it is stun, which I have to make a leadership test at minus two because you got a banner nearby. I'm fine. I don't need to come boosted. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you're immune to it. Um, okay. I guess I could have put that on Rage Terror and gone to ten. Then there we go, Rage Terror. Okay, first off, leadership check at minus two. I pass. I rolled an eight. Man, I'm making all of them. Why your leadership check? Are you because I'm depleted and below half strength. Oh, okay. Whenever you start an activation below. Yeah. And if you have exactly two models, you can't blow once. One is dead and the other one's hurt. Yeah. Uh, mandibles, three attacks, and on fours, nines are poison. So three hits, AP two, damage two. Okay, so sevens. And one of them dies. Normally this would be stunning, but you are boosted. So that objective is now contested. Nobody owns it. Okay. And I do you have still have anything to go with? Nope. Oh, your leader, your vice lord. Oh, yeah, I didn't see it. And I think that's it. So let me just save us some time here. No boost, right? You do have boosts. You still have two boosts. Mm -hmm. So you have a two out of three chance of boosting your leader. Ready? Which which I would, because it's the piercing A plus three. Boost. All right. So four attacks. Um, yeah, all accuracy. I might as well. So hitting on threes. Uh, it didn't matter. So just three hits. Damage to AP one. What's up? Forgot that a bunch of your guys had scout because of the detachment that they were in. Ooh, and scout is just you move, move. before. Yeah, like it was like six inches. So they would have been. Hmm. I don't know how much of a difference because probably not much. Yeah. Sorry. What yeah. did you do? Uh, I did three hits, just regular. AP. AP one. Damage two. You injure one. So yeah, one's down to one more. Yeah, yeah, and that's it. That's the round. So let's just calculate points just for fun. So I've got one, two, three objectives. So I got two points for that because I got one and more. You've got at least one of no. No, nope, I have none. Shaken, uh, contested back here. You hold it. Yeah. I no longer hold the one back here. Um. Units dying. You didn't kill any of my units. You tried. Did I not? No. There was something here, wasn't there? Yeah, there was something. There. Oh, you killed the flesh scorcher. Yes. But I killed the one that was right here. Yep. And, oh, is that it? Yeah. Okay, so I, didn't, I actually didn't kill much, which is fine. So no points for either of us for that. I did take one objective from you. So that's one. And I own your back objective. That's so it's three. Yeah. Three total. So the score is 13 to 7 there. So that's when it starts to tick off. And then we play, if we played another round, like, you've got so little left. Yeah. So I think we can call it there. Yeah, good to call it. That, that, that's becoming a landslide. Like, I can't. Yeah, there's nothing. And then you move forward with the things that can actually, like. Yeah, like, you're, you're, you're so dead right here. Like, the Vice Lord here is kind of holding this flank, so you could retake this objective. But my Razor Worm is just is too good there. Hour 44. Good game. Good game. Okay. So, one game does not really dictate balance. Um, having said that... But it was game length. That was, like, the main thing. Game right? length was good. 
An hour 45 is good. My stomach is saying that it's a good time. <laughs> Lunch time. You know what? I'm going to pull up the chat so we can kind of talk to these guys for a few minutes. Thank you for sticking around if you've stuck around yeah, the there's, hour there's still, and 45 minutes it took for us to play. Yeah, there's still 70 some odd people here. Pop out. It's so much more enjoyable to play a game without thinking about the filming of it. Yeah, and yet. And yet, we can't help but think about the filming of it. Let's say. Steve could use a boost. Steve could use a boost. I call hacks. Dave is hacking. All right. So we can see your comments now or your chat. Jonathan's here. Excellent. War oh, War Budgies, of course. Hey, John. Oh, this camera's right in the way. Sticking around, pea fish. Awesome. The Forge of Mars. Yes. Kill them, kill them all. <laughs> I definitely felt a lot stronger. I, I think the razor worm, it, it's interesting because as I built the detachments, one of the things I looked at, it wasn't the only thing, but one of the things I looked at is how many wounds was in the detachment. Okay. So like, for example, the razor worm's 20 wounds, but I knew at the same time that 20 dominarins was not equivalent to one razor worm. And so as I, so like, there's one detachment that's 40 dominarins. So that's 40 wounds worth of models. Whereas most of the detachments have like 30 to 35 wounds worth of models. Okay. And so, and see the Dominarians in action, they could actually... They did more than they, I expected. They do work. They do work. Yeah. Um, Especially when they're with the Vice Lord, that can boost them a little bit. Yes. Give them that extra movement. Um, we didn't see the Skirmisher in action because they're too far away. But I do feel that the Gorkog one felt strong, but it might have just been in relation to this one. Because one thing I should point out... And I, I, it was a hard choice to do this. You could have actually, in this game, had one more Oathborn. Because of... So there's more than one detachment that you can build out of the one starter set. It's the Siege of Ankar, I think, is the one that has the Oathborn. But the Siege of Ankar only comes with one Oathborn. That's and Ancient Evils, yeah? Yeah, maybe that's one. I don't remember what they're called. Yeah, because there's no Veil touched in Siege of Ankar. Right, right. Yeah. So, so here, I'll show you. Um... Bell touched one. So I might have to adjust that one that is missing an Oathborn. So I built it. So there's a detachment that's. So detachment one and two were based off of that one, Ancient Evils. So detachment one would be Oathborn, six Valkyries, and seven Valkyries. Mm -hmm. Then detachment two is Lord Gustavar, Banshees, Rays, and another Oathborn. But because you only get one Oathborn in the box, I created a third detachment which counts as two regular. That is a combination of those two, but minus the Oathborn. But then the Valkyries and Oathborn are supposed to gain Scout. Now, I don't know if them gaining Scout is, a, is enough of an advantage to make up for missing an Oathborn. Mm. I, my, my gut tells me no. But Scout can be quite powerful in certain missions because it allows you to grab objectives early, allows you to get in a position. But I do, just, just from this quick test here, I'm like, okay, I think that one... I still need to make that detachment because when people get that box, they need to be able to play it without needing another Oathborn. Yeah. And so that one just needs another bonus because I can't put more units in it because it's based off of what's in the box. What's in the box. Because that's that detachment three, which counts as two regulars, is everything in the Ancient Evil. So then you need one more detachment, which in your case was the Vice Lord, the Dominarians, and the Vatra. Mm -hmm. Vatra, I really feel like I have to up their attacks too to make them punch a little Yeah, harder. they're a bit overwhelming. Underwhelming. Yeah. Yeah. So Oathborn didn't get to see what it did. The Oathborn would have hit like a ton of bricks. Like, yes. and, and, may, and see, that's the problem. If you had gone before me, <laughs> it may have been the opposite, that you would have killed my Mastodon, and I'd be like, oh, good thing you don't have two Oathborn. Yeah. This is why playtesting a one-off game, what I, you know what I have to do? I have to, I have to input this into the Google form. So there's a Google form for all the playtesters. Every time you play a game, you go in there and you mark what armies were played, what detachments were used, and who won. And then you can also leave some feedback. But the idea is then, if I get enough of those, I can mathematically start to see which detachments are always winning and which ones are always losing. Yeah. But I have to get enough for that to become statistically significant. So we should definitely add this one in, because there's nothing about this game that wasn't normal. Yeah. So hmm. when, when you look at the Oathborn with that sword, because he had the sword and I think the big cannon. Dread Cleaver. And then there's a Cyclonic Gatling Cannon. Point blank, five. So five more shots when he's in short range. Cool. So it goes probably from 5 to 10 shots. Right? Yeah, it goes from 5 to 10. And what does that sword do? How many attacks? So the cleaver has uh, 3 attacks. Yeah. Yeah, anti-armor A+, plus, piercing A+, plus 3. 3 damage. Okay, so he can do up to 9 damage. What's his impact? Is it heavy impact something, impact something? Heavy impact too. Yeah, so if he had charged a Macedon, he would have hit me twice for 2 damage attacks. 
and then possibly punched a few wounds off of me. Yeah. So that that's I don't yeah. know. But, or he could have shot that point blank thing and just like annihilated the unit, right? That's cool. I like how he he seems pretty balanced. Like whether he's shooting or close combat, they're both good. But you yeah. have to well, you can choose. you can kit him out. There's two different ways to kit him out too, right? Yeah. And that's what the other oathborn that we have is the other version. Iron coil whips. Four attacks on that one. Reaping A plus three. Poisoned A plus. Yeah, stun. Those are meant to go after griblies. Yeah. Whereas the sword is a little more elite. Yeah. Reaping A plus three. Like, yeah, that's a lot of extra. Well, it's, it's, all, it's all the tendrils, right? So yeah. you're just like going Wah! right through them. Uh, John's pitting up Yashara. So uh, when you have that done, man. Dude, send it. I want to see it. I want to see his paint job. Yeah. Sick. It could be yeah. that the ra I would see the thing is the razor worm seems really good, but I know the moment the ambassador looks at him, he dies. Or if the apocalypse gets a shot on him, he dies. On the razor worm? Yeah. Yeah. And so it's like if you have anti armor weapons, like you saw how quickly you killed the Mastodon, which is actually tougher than the razor worm. It only has fifteen wounds to its twenty, but has a better defense and it's still armored as well. Yeah. And so the ma so but you saw the Mastodon went down as soon as you put the right attacks into it. Yeah. Lord Gustavar was really good. Yeah. Yeah, he died to the explosion. Yeah. Mastodon dying. I love it because it's not like he's super powerful and beefy. He just has good attacks. He only has six wounds and no armor. Right? We got. I saw that Ravishtar is on Wayland Games there. now. So it's like. It's like. Yeah, it's not quite into retail, but I think that's the, some of our. Super advanced pre order. That's yeah. basically what that and I, is. And I think also they might have some of the leftover stock because we're going to be selling it at UK Games Expo. That's right. From so. The first campaign. That's right. So Veil touched only. Yeah, from the first campaign. From the first campaign. Yeah, we had some yeah. leftover from like returns and stuff like that. We're going to be actually selling the stuff that's in the States soon. There was a bit of extra stock in addition to the fulfillment of the backers anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we always, we always for damages yeah. and like we over order and then there's some returns because there's always returns. Yeah. There's always Statistically, there's always going to be. Yeah. There's yeah. some people that literally never actually filled up their shipping information. So there's not, also that which blows yeah. my mind. Not very, not very many of those. No. Not very many. Yeah. And so you just refund them their money and keep the stock. Have extra right? stock, yeah. 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 So that's what we actually brought to Adepticon. We have more. So we'll be selling that on our store. That's right. So UK Games Expo uh, will be at Wayland Games booth and Ravistar will be there. Yeah, that's all been confirmed. Yeah. I hadn't yet yep. checked that. We need to buy plane tickets. Yeah. Next month. Yeah, it's but, like six. Yeah, I don't know. And it's just Dave and I that are going. But um, yeah, we'll be there. Yeah. Will Gaz be there too? Yep, he'll be there. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, so there'll be three of us there. Um, and then we're doing a live Maelstrom of Lore, which is a surprise as to what exactly we'll be doing for that. So we're not going to reveal too much, but that's our kind of fun in-person uh, gathering event. If you want to go to that, um, I'm not even sure how to sign up or where that's going to be yet. For what? Uh, a live Maelstrom of Lore. Oh, geez. Yeah. You're going to do that at UK Games? Yeah, Expo? I'll do that. Yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's what that is. And, and then just like going around and seeing all the stuff. But really, it's... Uh, in my mind, the number one thing for our UK Games Expo trip is being at Wayland Games booth. Uh, Ravage Star and is there. You guys, yeah. yeah, and just now, meeting Ravage you. Ravage there, but we don't have like demos set up and stuff. No, there's no... Because we, at Defticon, we were able to, I, I drove everything there. The entire booth that we yeah. had dedicated to that. Now, we are planning on going to Essensspiel in October, and there we probably have tables and, and demos going like that. So it depends. We've I filled out all the information. We'll see what kind of booth we get. Yeah, because that's obviously a pretty big. Um, that seems massive. That's huge. Yeah. Yeah. So that's our plan, um, and then maybe and Nova. Nova. Nova, yes. Nova, so, but you, same thing. We won't have demos at Nova. You're not going to Nova, right? Well, or I, you are? I'm not sure yet. I got to find out what's going. We on. can do. We can do demos at Nova, um, if somebody has to drive. Hmm. I want to drive to Washington. That one's undetermined. <laughs> yeah, we're still figuring that one out. That's not yet determined. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we'll see about that one. Let's eat. Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah? Yeah. But thank you for joining us. Yeah. Thank Thanks you so for much. Being, just, just kind of keeping us company kind of thing. Forge of Mars is going to be at UK Game, Game, uh, Games Expo. Um, Battle Brother with a lot of Titans. Awesome. Okay, that's all you need to know about Forge of, Mars. Forge of Mars, right? Yeah, exactly. All right. All I'm right. going to go over and hit stop streaming. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Check out uh, Hobby Hunter, episode one, man, if you haven't seen it. It's posted on the YouTube channel.